All right, let's get let's continue. I gotta start with a new game. Oh uh, yeah. All your progress will be lost because I've I've beaten this game, but it was like a long time ago. I don't. That's really not the language you, we don't read that. Oh okay. <laughs> in memory of the Ukrainian. For a second, I thought this was gonna be in Russian, and I was gonna be like. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I can't read that. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Here's a Sherlock with cucumber at the door. So good. Let's see that. Oh, cumber, cumber, Cumberbutt. Cum Cumberbatch. Benedict I Crumberbutt. I watched the first season of that. It, it was an interesting modern take on Sherlock. They, they did a pretty good job reinventing him. Deduction space icon indicates you have found sufficient clues. Uh, you you can find on gameplay or interface instructions for pressing <laughs> F one. Chat F one. That's okay, Spider. Um, is a spoiler if you're gonna read the books. I don't think any of the stuff that I was saying happens in the game, but yeah, I, I haven't seen this game before, so it's supposed to be me behind the wheel. But yeah, I, I need I just needed to eat something real quick. And, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's continue. That's funny. It's like I didn't see the continue. I was like, why well, isn't going on? Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, why is he? <laughs> Excuse me. Why does he walk like that? Why is he walking like that? Well, I mean, that's Sherlock Holmes. I'm playing as Watson right now. What's going on here? Wait. Yeah, something's it's right, it's straight up. ahead. Yeah. Under the okay. yeah, sofa. Yeah, let's do it now. That's not gonna provide any cover. What? You are utterly mad. Thank him. <laughs> right. Don't stop oh, cats. Is that you, Watson? No, it's not. Yes, of course it is. And you Watson's like, I freaking me. live here, too, Nonsense. you know. I was aiming for the vases. Blindfolded? Watson, quiet, please. Up, I'm trying to oh. concentrate. Over here. Yeah. Ah, Lestrade. Oh what is it this time? They can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. A gentleman by the name of Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, has been murdered. Black Peter. A sailor, most probably. What happened here? Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. And I hate I it. <laughs> think of a better use for it. <laughs> You're out of your oh. mind. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? Am I the only sane one here? I suppose that Watson You're the crazy right, one, for <laughs> A little brain work would be preferable now. If you're, Do if you're please tell us otherwise. more about Black right. Peter. Peter Carey, born in 1845 right. and 50 years old. Oh, An ambitious... I want to eat my food, He achieved Gampa. much success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia. Retired in 1884 with a small fortune. He invested his money in a property called I Woodman's Lee, at near Forest Row in Sussex. We could if we didn't spend it was where he money. lived for six years, and where he was found dead yesterday. And like, has the investigation for, for already begun? Products. Yes and no. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join me down there. Give me half an hour to prepare, Inspector. Take your time and join me there. I have to go through the yard first. The many men struck again. Oh no. What have they done the this time? time? They robbed a powder reserve. I'll meet you at Woodman's Lee, Mr. Holmes. They robbed the powder I have reserve. Mrs. Hudson here. Make a powder I also chat. Have several appointments <laughs> that I must keep this afternoon. I shall go alone then. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Nobody wants to be with me. Okay. Nobody cares about women's makeup. So, last time I played this, I played on a controller. Is it doing inverted? Yeah. Oh, yeah, turn that off. Because I, I'm playing with the keyboard and mouse. 
Alright. Hit tab. Oh, jeez. Profile of the victim. Profile? Black the... Peter. You know, they don't make nicknames like they used to back in the day. Like, Tony Two Hands. Black Peter. Uh, Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter Born. Yeah, he just said all this. Yeah, it would be like the equivalent of Cole Phelps writing writing that down and sketching the, the man into the book. You go along to Peter Carey's house. Mrs. Hudson and I will take care of the mess you've made here. Whoa. There's just it's random stuff and like the bases. Everything else is just shit. <laughs> yeah, these were here before. He like collects newspapers. Like, this is where I keep my post. Oh, oh this well. is funny. Is he just gonna say that? This is where I keep my newspaper collection. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. What a waste of space. Oh, Get a what computer. What a mess. What a right? terrible mess. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, I gotta go get dressed. Encyclopedias. Open the door. Wait, wasn't that where? No, this is my room. Oh, but Watson has You can has tell a... because I have disguises. Oh, the master of disguise. Yeah. Let me use the makeup table. Hat. No. What? Christopher no. Walken here? Oh. <laughs> is that what was that? Ah, uh, gotta go to the case. <laughs> Except it needs to be like white. Somebody was murdered. Somebody <laughs> was murdered. <laughs> My gosh, why? Master of disguise. I know, and in the books you used to do this shit all the time. Oh, well, you have a hat. Yeah. Take right. the hat. Well, which one? There's more than just these. No, those are all locked. Oh, are they? Mm-hmm. We have to unlock the hats. Main objective of this game is to unlock the hats. There we go, that one. I oh. can't take this one? No, I can't. It's locked. Okay. No. Also, no. What? You don't want him looking like Ebenezer Scrooge or something? <laughs> Facial hair. Yes. Oh, it's locked. Darn it. Oh, we need to progress because I want that mustache. Whoa, hang on. You guys see that neck beard? Where was it? Whoa. Where is it? Where is that neck beard? That glorious neck beard. Damn it. it wasn't a part of my imagination. I knew that. Whatever. We can't have facial hair anyways. What? Confirm. Gonna go to the case with the top hat on. My wardrobe. Casual suit. Black suit. Brown suit. Green suit. Gray suit. Ooh, a light suit. Bandit outfit. Farmer outfit. Oh, that's locked. Oh, these are locked. I'll wear this. All right. Onward to solve a homicide. Look how he walks. It's like so stiff. So we live on Baker Street. We want to go to Woodman Woodman Lee. Oh. Oh. Nothing to look at right now. We haven't even like seen the victim. Mr. Holmes, I'm over here. Come on. Stone pathway. Land around stone pathway. F 
footprints. Examine. It's eight. Size eight shoe. These footprints appear to be quite large. Or not. Could you imagine if it was a size eight shoe? It seems that the garden was well maintained. What's over here? I should probably talk to Lestrade, but... Yeah. What Mr. up? Mr. Holmes? What's up? It seems that the garden was well maintained. What up? Mr. Holmes? Yeah. Oh, I went the around. My bad. Inspector Lestrade, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. As soon Allow as Mr. Holmes is done manhandling it, we'll get him right out of here. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. I want to stare at you. So I can judge you. Hang on. A. Cameo. <gasps> Gloves. Encrusted tit. <laughs> Gardening gloves. <gasps> Religious. <laughs> Boobies. Yeah, that's it, right? No. <gasps> Birdhouse. <laughs> oh wait, no, I think I already I already did that. Madam, can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. But I thought nothing of it then. I was he like, my husband always screams. I didn't think anything of it. He's always out there, screaming bloody murder. Didn't cross my mind to check it out. Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually, whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. Hmm. Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock. I noticed the cabin door was open, but I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and... Oh, dear. Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? No, he had oh, no, no friends. I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. <laughs> we lived quite an isolated life here, after his retirement. The garden is very large and well-maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true. Ooh, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes, yes. it's easier to live Life without with a husband. was never easy. <laughs> right. But he was still my <laughs> husband. He was different, wasn't he, when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth? Did you read the... Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh my goodness, but how do you know about that? Mm. Uh, dang it. Never mind. Damn. You... Oh, he burps. Well, you're like read chat and like a quick time thing just came up. Well, you got you you gotta. It's called teamwork. Wait. Have you listened? Have you ever listened to Faint by Lincoln Park? I'm sure I have. Uh, Lincoln Park is one of my favorite bands. Uh, Thank you, beard, madam. Beard, beard. Hey, I want to talk to you. I think I missed the last thing to say. 
I want to. I just want to say you don't say. It's you like have indeed suffered a great, great loss, comment or whatever. Gary. Yeah. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes, life with Peter was never easy, but he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he, when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth? Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh my goodness! But how do you know about that? Ah, uh, because. Cuba. How do I know about Never mind. I hit Q. No. It didn't really Let me just know. repeat it again. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mr. Keep Mrs. having this conversation. Nevertheless, about I your believe great it loss. will be less of a burden for you. Can soon. you not skip it? Yes. No. Life with Peter was never easy. But he was still my husband. Is this like he was the different, wasn't he? Well, if you keep talking when to them, you, you like get a friendship on your return. Like, it'll Plymouth. be easier without your husband. Yes, yes. Mr. Holmes. I'll be your husband. <laughs> Need you high five that? three times and there. How do I know? Profile of the victim. Pilgrimage. Well kept garden. Unidentified footprint. How do I know? How did you know about Plymouth? I don't. Uh, I don't know. Pil. pil Pilgrimage? Pilgrimage? You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. What? The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> Extraordinary. Uh, that was a guess, but... Sure, yes. Thank you, madam. Yeah, I knew what I was talking about. Yeah, you stay there. Mm. Let's see, let's see. Not that cabin. I should probably talk to you. Hmm. The door is locked. Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday to ensure that no one should enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence. Ah, good thinking. back in the Victorian times, hello, they didn't give hello, a hello, shit hello. about evidence. What is it, Lestrade? It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. I have a top hat, I know. You don't say. <laughs> Scratches. Well, no, he was a drunkard. That makes sense that there'd be scratches. These scratches are fresh. Oh, okay. You don't say. <laughs> You're right. Someone tried to force open the door. I swear these scratches were not <laughs> here yesterday. <laughs> Holmes is like, now, yes, I noticed it came first, here last dad. night. <laughs> well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have the right tool. Hey, yep. Crossfire, how's it going? We're doing good. We're just um, being Sherlock Holmes, which he's actually not a detective. In the books, he's con he calls himself like a detective consultant. <laughs> like, that's what he calls himself. He's like, I'm the first and only detective consultant. So you're not a real detective? <laughs> detective consultant. Yeah, okay. Because he doesn't work for Scotland Yard. Oh, jeez. Oh. What a terrible way to die. Yeah, that seems like an unfortunate way to go. I don't need to rummage through his belongings. The tooth of a sperm whale. Probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. Sherlock's sight initiated. Shelf. Suspicious empty spot. Outline of dust. <gasps> this place is not covered with dust, like the rest of the shelf. An object was taken from here. It was larger than a book. A box or a small chest, perhaps. All right, you want to switch? Dundee. Dun Dundee. Yeah. Dundee. Dundee. Now let me um rummage through all this stuff first, and then we'll switch. Yeah. I want to touch the dead body. 
So, uh, since you walked away, there's a, a box missing, and those are sperm whale teeth. And... Oh, wait, what? <laughs> right? Hmm. The ship's logs of the sea unicorn for the years 1878 um, to We usually try to go three hours. Peter I don't Carey know if we'll go three hours because we ran a little bit late today. Hmm. The ship's logs of the sea unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. Oh. You don't say. Do I need to initiate my Sherlock vision? Sherlock vision! Shelf. <gasps> There's harpoon. a harpoon missing. I found who's, it. Who's that? Oh. That's the murder victim. Harpoons for hunting whales. Whales. Yeah, Crossfire will probably be on for two and a half to three hours tonight. <gasps> Someone drank from this glass recently. There's That's two glasses. Average, yeah. Someone drank from this glass recently. Tobacco pouch. Oh, uh, we'll be on for... Uh, we, we honestly just got started, burned. so we'll be on for another two a and a half hours work. or so. Two hours at least. The initials PC. And we'll be streaming on Wednesday and Friday as well. That's usually what we do. Yeah. Escape. Awesome. Escape. Thank you, Crossfire. We uh, really appreciate that, actually. Rum. A sailor's drink. Ooh. It seems that Captain Carey was enjoying a drink before he met his death. You don't say. His wife uh, mentioned what a drunk he is. He, yes. He, he drinks alcohol because the bottles are in his place. <laughs> Oh, jeez. What's this? Contents. <laughs> Ooh. Old navigation instruments. Nothing interesting. What are you talking about? Just doesn't pertain to the case. <laughs> right. Boots, <laughs> mine now. She carries boots. They look to be a size <gasps> 8. Told you size 8. Like, oh, no. Like L.A. Noir. He murdered the women. In... Oh, wait. No, he didn't. Because he's dead. Can we look in his bag? What's in his bag? No. Fine. Let's go check out this dead body. Let me mount it like Cole Phelps would. Gives him a hug. Bloody notebook. J H N are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. Uh. The pattern of the blood stain indicates that the notebook was not lying on the floor prior to the crime, but it was dropped into the pool of blood. After the death of Peter Carey. Oh, I don't say. The book that looks like it was thrown was thrown. Yes. <gasps> a knife. Why would he need a knife when he had a harpoon? This wooden handle is plain and solid. This is clearly a knife. <laughs> this blood is from the pool underneath the dead body. Oh. Peter yes, where Carey the knife was laying. Oh, mine now. himself with this <laughs> knife, but he did not succeed. Yes, my knife. This is a good steak knife. You know, this is kind of a cool man cave for the year that this, this man game is in takes his 50s, place. Yet he still looks quite strong. AKA he's, he's a big boy. That's a big boy. A whaling harpoon. Mm. It sucks, but wait. Yes. Close. Peter cool. Carey was fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible. That How he do you knew know? His murderer. Well, I mean, yeah, there's two glasses of. Because if it right happened there. at night, he'd be in his underwear. Dun dun dun. Right. <laughs> his chest. The weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. Almost like a harpoon gun was used. I doubt. I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> Close. Space. This man is in his fifty. Oh. No, the green means you. There, pull of blood. Pull of blood. Oh wait. Corpse. No, the corpse, I guess, is done. Pull of blood? Pull of blood. Look at the footprints. That one next to the... the. What footprint? Uh, take the notebook again. Open. <gasps> You're right. These abbreviations mean something. But what? They look like they're initials. Mine now. He just absorbs oh, it. Oh, I can, I can deduct now. Deduction powers activate. Okay. Oh, wait. How does this work? Okay. So you need to use your power of deduction. AKA common sense. Okay. Yeah. So you need to use that to kind of make a spider web 
to figure out who done it. Right now, we probably can't do anything. So break in attempts into a wall. No, that's not one of them. Break in attempts for the notebook. Okay. Why? Why though? An ambush must, must have been made, must be made tonight to see if a break in attempt will be repeated. Uh. So we're gonna suggest huh. that to Lestrade. Someone was here yesterday. They attempted to force the door to gain entry. Ah, let's organize an ambush. Um. What? Yes. What's this? Oh, you can read about the people. Uh, yes. Titbird. Crested Titbird. Do, do, do. Completed. Okay. No. Exit. Oh, you missed something on the table. No, I didn't. It'd be green. Lick, lick the glass. Get, get the DNA. <laughs> Someone drank from this He's not Connor. He can't do that. Dang it. <laughs> T tobacco pouch. I looked at this already. Open it. Go rotate. Rotate. Personal computer. There we go. Open again. Rotate. Oh. Hmm. This aroma is familiar, but to recognize it, I must construct my associations in one picture. It's oh. tobacco, dude. Yeah, like... Okay, so there's tobacco leaf. Move it. Wait, no. How? Okay, move. What? Is is it limited? Like, what? What's happening? Okay. Smoking thing. Uh, does it go here? And then, oh, can you rotate it again? I don't think you can. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. Oh, there you go. See, it's that way. I just gotta match up the picture, the lines. It's like a boat. It's a, it's a butt of some kind. Eh. Tobacco. There you go. No, I want. Smoking pipe. Where would this go? Oh, hang on, I gotta rotate it again. What? It's a weird. Why? Unnecessary, like, 3D paint thing. Is this how Holmes thinks? He <laughs> thinks in abstract. <laughs> He's, uh, he's like, I need to use my thinking cap to. Huh. I don't. Okay. You can skip it. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, you had it right. It needs to be like that. In that perspective. Where does this go, though? There? Oh, turn it more to the mouse to the left. That goes down further. That's like the 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 point to the ship. Aha. Uh -huh. It goes up, yeah, like right up more. That that, and then rotate the ship some more. The other way. Keep going. There, yeah, you got it close, right around there, and then move the tobacco uh -huh. leaf. Ah. Aha! Uh -huh. And then angle it down a little bit. Yeah. Why does he think like this? It's just the only way. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Move that up. Yes. I did it. It's With the yes. it's a boat, chat. This is a coarse tobacco, <laughs> quite strong and very popular among sailors. For some reason, yes, oh because, and that was it. That's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> my tobacco now all right i think we got everything that one no it's just the ship logs got everything got everything all right get out of this man cave hi what up bro inspect me well mr holmes what do you think now i think that we are lucky Oh, okay. And why is that? What? <laughs> because of last night's attempted break-in. How do you know? Oof. You've lost me. It is very probable that whoever came here hoped to find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they failed. Cause... What will they do? Why, return tonight, when they will be better prepared. Aha! 
So what do you propose? I'll hide in that trash can. We shall remain you. on the outside near the window, where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Uh. Well, gentlemen, it's like Holmes is going to be hidden behind something, we but it's like top hat's going to totally give him away. <laughs> that looks like a hat outside. What's happening? <laughs> I, I thought that guy was bent backwards for a second. I was like, what the fuck's going on over there? It's not. He's not like that. Hey, look at this. I found... Look at... Hobbs, I found the thing. Examine. Examine the footprints. Carrie's boots. Put the shoe. Uh, smash it down. Nick. Smash it. <laughs> These boots don't match the footprints. Oh, jeez, chat. That means somebody was there, and it wasn't the guy. Oh... <laughs> what are you doing, guy? You don't need a magnifying glass to stare at those footprints. I can see them from here. What a lovely shoe print. <laughs> so is that it? Do I talk to you? Do I? It tell looks like it. It's still. You're still missing something with the footprints. Like you need to match your shoe now, or something. Did I do it? <laughs> he steps in. Oh, it says evidence something acquired. These footprints appear to be quite large. I mean, you need I to find the shoe earlier. now. So hey, when the guy comes tonight. You gotta take a shoe and put it there and then make sure it matches. Yes. Holmes steps into the footprint. He's like, thank goodness I didn't do it. <laughs> Let's see if I did it. No. I think that's it. I wear a size 15. Ha ha. Like, oh my God. What's that? Hmm. That. That's a man. No, to the, the shack. The small shack. I don't know. It's probably her she shed because that was his man cave. Did she sheed in the minkeef? <laughs> yeah. She looks dead. She looks like she's passing out. Like with her <laughs> looks arms like she's up. having like a stroke. Was Peter smoke? Is Peter smoked. Your husband's tobacco pouch. I'm not sure. It might be that he hadn't smoked in a very long time. He sniffs it. Your husband's private papers. Do you know where they are? There was a small tin box, barely larger than a book. He kept his papers there. It should be somewhere in his cabin. Go get it. Find Thank it for you, me. <laughs> Fetch quest. Fetch quest begin. <laughs> Isn't that it? I got to go look for something like a tin. Now. No, no, no. I, that's missing. Oh. oh. Talk about those gardens. He's just going to say it's well maintained. <laughs> that's all he says about friends. the garden. It seems that the garden was well maintained. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> This garden, Wait, can you... this garden is immaculate, is all he's going to say about this fucking garden. And look, I can not run through it. Okay, uh, <laughs> I was going to be like... Wait, why is he standing on that block? Like, that's his designated space? Yeah, because it is. It's a spawn point. Okay, so I got to go back in here. That's a... That's, that's where the thing, the thing it's is supposed to be. It's missing, because the dust wasn't resting there. I think that's it. I think now we do a stakeout. Uh, yes, with the steak knife. Yeah. All right. We Ready for the pajama party? For an ambush. Oh. Perhaps Go hide behind, behind the trash can. Near the window. Near the window. Near the window. Go, 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 go to near the window over here. Say, <laughs> you see the prowler never look he... back here. <laughs> Why does he walk like that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Queen of Spades, for the follow. Hey, Estrella. That one. Oh, yeah. Wait, this okay. looks like the perfect hiding place. <laughs> the perfect hiding place. You just see a silhouette of man with a top hat chilling there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but let me press my face against glass. All right, are we switching? Oh, I appreciate Estrella. I miss you too. Thank you for popping in if you're not here to chill for long. Now the oh. prowler's like, oh, I've got to get in there. Got to steal the things. All, all you hear is, because they're hungry, <laughs> they haven't eaten. Oh, let's see. Somebody comes. They're so inconspicuous. <laughs> Shh. Did you hear that? Shut up. Did you hear that? He yells. How many men are there? Are there three? Dun dun. <gasps> dun dun. There's someone there. They just left the dead body I'm there. Collar him. I'll be right behind you. Meanwhile, the guy inside hears Police. all of it. Hold it right there. Run. I mean, by run, I mean like kind of weird, do like the weird like shake that you do. Why'd you murder him? 
He yells in the call, folks. All right, my fine fellow. Who are, are we gonna, you? Are we going to do here? cam streams? Your detectives, I suppose. Mm, you maybe that I'm it would depend on the video, Carey. but like for games like this. I assure this? you, I'm innocent. Mm. Innocent. And what are you doing in his cabin? Innocent. Shall He's I like, maybe if it's a spooky game, you we'll do a cam. You came to retrieve <laughs> what you had lost after killing Peter Carey, but we were here waiting for you. Uh -huh. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I, I didn't. John Hopley. You deny that you came here yesterday. No, but, but I, yes, it, his it's hands just, I like in a bad way. I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. <laughs> I'm tired of this pal. <laughs> then. Oh See wait. You're put in front of the judge. <laughs> what? But you can't. I'm not. It's a terrible mistake. I like. He's like. I didn't Enough. do anything. I just broke into this place. To the judge. And I was looking for You're a book. I mean, not me looking for yard. a book. I mean, this thing on the shelf. But I have it. In light of recent events, it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> you are welcome, Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. I would like to question him tomorrow morning. Yes, please don't beat him too hard. Thank you. Thanks, Estrella. Thanks for stopping in. I miss you. Thank you. I gotta open up my case book. Gotta see. Complete. What's funny is in every single one of these cases, I'm pretty sure Lestrade is gonna be like, You weren't needed, Holmes. <laughs> like, every single time. We could have done it ourselves. Thank you very much. <laughs> Size 8 shoes, so we gotta look at that guy's shoe. PC that doesn't match his uh initials. Continue. I think it took me back. Yeah. Scotland Yad. Mr. Holmes. That's all they ever say. Hi, yes. God. Uh. Jonathan Fenton? Sorry, I'm just reading the stuff that you're all blocking. Mr. Holmes? Okay, thank you for pointing me in the right direction. He's over there in two. Yeah, thanks, bud. <laughs> These are the suspect's belongings. That's not his. The notebook that we found on Peter Carey's cabin floor. These abbreviations mean something. But I want what? you to close it. I want to look at the. Take the ring. That's mine. The one ring to rule them all. Hang on, wait. Wait. To my friend and partner. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. From R. Dawson to my friend and partner, 1883. Oh. Oh, jeez. Got a handkerchief. A handkerchief with the initials. J H N. Oh, those were his a initials. Pocket knife. It was used to force the door of Peter Carey's cabin. Oh, jeez. Is that everything? Who would have thought? <laughs> eh. This is like the evidence room. That's He's it. He's locked in there now. He can't get out. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Look at the way he like the animation for his head bobs. Like he takes he takes like the tiniest steps. <laughs> Dead body. I want to touch it. It's like he's running. No, this is running. This is him making zoomies. But like, what? <laughs> what is he hit by so so fast? <laughs> the doors. Locked. Oh. Oh, jeez, locked. It's... I must find out what's why. in there. <laughs> can I crouch? I don't think you can crouch in this game. <laughs> Holmes is like, what's a crouch? <laughs> That's ah, the interrogation room. Shoves face on window with nose <laughs> pressed against it. <laughs> it's like a condensation from your breathing. <laughs> I'm coming in. Hi. Mr. Holmes? Ah, thank oh, you. Yes, hi. I am Mr. Holmes. All right, let's interrogate this little bastard. I didn't do it. I did not. <laughs> stare at you. Uh, He's wearing a hat. Shabby hat. Oh, do you get to take his hat? No. For for you to wear later? Because that was an option, wasn't it? Back of the wardrobe. Why is oh, it Oh, look at that it? crappy mustache. It's a it's a young man. A... <gasps> Patch. He's poor and has to fix his stuff. 
Oh, jeez. Look at that shitty yeah. shirt. And at the neck, he's he's hungry. Let's see what else. What else? Uh, expensive. expensive fabric. He stole it. <laughs> he steals his clothes. Penis. No, no, that's not what we're gonna look at. Hang on. <gasps> his hands are jacked up. He throws harpoons for a living. Oh, no. Right? Scars. His hands are jacked up, man. Like, if a man tried to touch me with those hands, like, I'd be like, oh, no, 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 no. no. I'm good, bro. <laughs> yes. No, thin neck. Wait. Sniff his ears. Right? <laughs> Holmes goes right behind him. <sighs> you smell poor. <laughs> Cheap shampoo. Like, what? What else? Here? Hat. What's under your hat? Nah, there's something I'm missing. The neck. Expensive fabric. Do 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 button? Pocket? Pocket? Check no. click the button. Aha. Elaborate buttons. buttons. So this was like a nice coat at one point until he got a hold of it. <laughs> right Aha. There. Short sleeves, so it was for somebody who Not him. Yeah. Was made for somebody else. What is in your book? Does this notebook belong to you? Yes. But where did you find it? I did not know. I, I, I thought I'd lost it at the hotel. Sure, yes. What do these abbreviations mean? Oh, no. I beg you, I can't. If I told you, it would only make things worse. But I will find out eventually, Mr. Nelligan. Oh, okay. Don't please don't find out any the more about it. Was found don't near do that. Carrie's body. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, did Mr. Carey try to defend himself or to attack you with it? I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. Lies. Well, I he will had see the harpoon in him man. when I got there. Please let me go. I'm innocent. He was against the wall with the harpoon in his chest, and I just I don't know. I I can't explain it. All right, powers of deduction activated. Wait, you didn't check his shoes. But that wasn't an option, so <laughs> shush. So missing tin box. Uh. And break breaking a time. No. Nelegant. No. Pin to the wall. No. No. Swift at. No. Okay, I'm I'm starting to think this doesn't have anything to do with anything. No, it doesn't. What, what? I was trying to deselect it. I didn't know how, and then I saw the deselect thing. Oh. Nelligan's notebook. Pinned uh, to the wall. No. No. Breaking attempts. Ah. Oh. Click that. The breaking attempts were made in order to recover the notebook that had been lying in the pool of the victim's blood. This proves the guilt of the person who made these attempts. Cool. Solved it. Any, anything else? Um, clues. No, Gardner. He did it. Hey, Gaffer. Hey, you. Swift attack. No. No. Just, just that something. doesn't do it. That has nothing to do with it. He's not a smoker. That doesn't have pinned anything to, the to do with it. <laughs> he's not a smoker. That's why he's pinned to the wall. Breaking attempts. And swift actions. actions. No. no. All right. Well, that's it then. Missing box, though. Okay. No. No, nothing. Retrieving the notebook. Okay. I guess that's it. Hey, bud. Escape. <laughs> but it and... says more. I'm missing something. Oh, no. No. Deselected. No. Deselect. No gardener. No. Breaking attempts. No. Pin to the wall. No. No. Pin to the wall and swift actions. Where is it? Pin to the wall. Swift actions. <gasps> and then. We need to find out whether an unskilled, untrained man could use a harpoon well enough to kill a fully piercing body. Burger. <sighs> Yes. I need to stage a reconstruction. I'm sure that Watson would be happy to oblige. I'm going to go stab Watson. Me... Watson, come here, bud. Let me harpoon you. Right? Ow. Come on, cat. I got to go somewhere. Where do I got to go? No, uh, no. Baker Street. I'm going to go stab Watson. 
open deduction? Is that the thing that you're doing just now, or what? Yeah, I was deducting. Deducting powers activate. Did they do some? Deducting. Hey, Watson. Bro. Hey, let me. Where are you? <laughs> I need to harpoon you. Hey, buddy. Hey. But look, there's Toby. Brave Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. Oh. Hey, stand right there. I'm going to grab a harpoon. A spot of whaling, Watson. Would you care to take part? Are you serious? Watson's no. like, I love but whaling. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> on the night of Black Peter's murder. A reenactment, then? Is something bothering you? The sailor's knife, Watson. Why was it on the floor? Why? Peter Carey attempted to defend himself? It is possible. But if that is the case, then it alters many things. I don't quite follow you. Yeah, Tell I don't get friend. it. Tell, teach, what is the teach animal me. closest to man? Morphologically, I mean. A pig. Ah, I see what you're getting at, Holmes. You asked me that once before. On the Ripper case, I believe. Do you want to slit some more pig's throats? No. I want a harpoon pig. for that. I wish to impale one with a harpoon. Wonderful. Watson, let us pay a visit to our butcher friend in Whitechapel. We require the carcass of a well-fed pig. And the harpoon? One of the harpoons on the wall of Black Peter's cabin should do quite nicely. Oh, okay. If you say so, bud, I mean... That's like good meat. <laughs> I need to take a harpoon with me. Ugh, I have to go all the way back. Woodman's Lee. I'm just gonna take it without like even asking his wife, watch. Cause Sherlock Holmes don't give a shit. <laughs> he doesn't look like it. Yes. Zoomies. It seems that the garden was well maintained. That's a nice garden. Every time. Be funny if the dead body was oh. still there, that and he just took the it. one that was stabbed. Now I am ready for the experiment. <laughs> you see, he doesn't even ask. Bye. Later, sucker. Oh wait. Okay. Dun 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 dun. Yes. Oh hey. Can oh, I stab hey. your pig? What's up? Jeez. Hi. Well, here we are in the preparation room. I can't say that I like the smell of it much. What do you intend to do? To indulge myself in a little experiment. The challenge of lancing a pig's carcass <laughs> with a heavy harpoon. He says with like uh, a mile a eyes, experiment. Like dead pants. Stand aside, there. Watson. This might be dangerous. I am not well practiced in this exercise yet. Oh, well, time to practice on Watson. Holmes, Throw it at Watson. Aim for the mark in order Wonder if he could. No. Nah, it doesn't <laughs> let me. I'm cool. not very practiced in this, Watson. <laughs> Throws it straight at Watson. The eh. harpoon has struck the body, but with insufficient strength to pierce it straight through. Do it better. Yes. <laughs> oh. Holmes, you should try to aim better. I and throw will as stab hard as you, can. Watson. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get the white bit. It drifts as I'm doing it, though. Ah. I did it. Nice. Perfect. This is the best the possible hardest. result that I could get. Do you see, Watson? Throwing a harpoon and pinning a man to a wall requires either exceptional strength and training or diabolical luck. If it was luck, then it was a chance in a thousand that night. Oh. Well, yes. Let us leave now. All right. And he but doesn't we return. Wait, what, suppose I have to pay for all these the carcasses widow. you've happily mangled. Very well, but please hurry. Yeah. Of course. You don't want to see what happened. Uh, we let's go before. Before they say something fun. Bye. Right? So where am I supposed to go? Scotland Yard again? 
What an asshole. Right? I'm just gonna come here and throw a harpoon at a pig. And now I'm, I'm gonna fuck off. Bye. Right? <laughs> hey. Hi. Hi. Excuse me. What up? Mr. Holmes? Yep. Uh huh. That is me. Locked. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Sounds so frustrated. Locked. Mr. Holmes? Yep. What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. Oh, do I not have to come here? Hang on, let me deduct so what's in your, front of you. What's your... I gotta deduct. Okay. Strength requirement. Pin to the wall. Pin to the wall. Feet of strength. Lucky throw. What yeah, but... Okay, it requires a much greater strength than that of an average man. To be able to pierce a man's chest with a harpoon all the way through the wall, a degree of skill would likely be necessary. Two men in cooperation might achieve the same result. Well, I for sure don't think he did it. The tiny the tiny little guy. Then why is, it, why is his hands all jacked up? Oh, well. Yeah. Um, lucky throw. There's a remote possibility that an unskilled, untrained man could manage to pin Pita Gary to the wall with a harpoon. I mean, I guess, but. Do you think it was more than one man? I, th I think so. I would have to check his shoes, so I don't know. I know, right? More clues. No. There are no more clues. Well. Okay. What's it supposed to do now? Or well, did we, we choose want the wrong to connect one? them, so. Hmm. Hopefully, he will say something. Hey, Talk. buddy. What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. Oh well, I guess you're right. What am, actually, the better question is what I'm doing. What What am I even doing here? Let's Let's go. I know. I Jeez. thought you you're, you're supposed to know everything. Right. Uh, okay, so where do we go then? That's a good question. Interrogate the suspect at cut Scotland Yard. Okay. Examine the belongings of John Hopley in the evidence room. So you didn't finish? I did that. Fine, I'll go back. Go run. I mean, not to feel bad about that spider. I just, I, I get caught up all the time. It's, it's the life of IT, unfortunately. It was used to force the door of Peter Carey's cabin. So I looked at that one. These abbreviations oh. mean something. Like yeah. What? Yeah. Can you match that? And oh, what are the abbreviate? What is the name on that? From R. Dawson. Adacent. So is that a entry in the book? Probably. These abbreviations mean no. R D. Didn't I look at all this already? Uh, it's still saying yes. Something with the abbreviations mean something. The ring. But what? <laughs> Click on the. Hold and partner, eighteen eighty-three. Oh, uh, we have to like read every little bit of it. To my friend. Dawson. I've seen this name before. Perhaps my archive holds the answer. I gotta go read all of his newspapers? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright. See you later. Jeez. Alright, you finished that one too, so. Alright, well, let me go back and look at all my newspapers. What a loser. Come okay, in. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Should I de deduct? No. Okay. No, you just gotta look at the newspapers. Go scour all your stuff, apparently. It's my egg caves. God. Okay. Bankruptcy? That is not the one I need. Oh, okay. No, not at all. <laughs> oh, there you <laughs> He sounds so angry. 
<laughs> that is not the one I That's need. That's not the one I need. Uh, the Strat, Dawson and Neglin invest fund bankrupt. Neligan. Neligan missing. The Dawson and Neligan Investment Fund, a regional banking institution based on the Cornwall, has declared bankruptcy as a result of heavy losses in its loan portfolio and has accordingly it has accordingly been assigned for liquidation. It was the 23rd largest bank in Britain, and its bankruptcy was the second largest on record. The liquidation of the company is a pure catastrophe for many Cornwall families. Joshua Neglin, one of the bankers, has since mysteriously disappeared. He was last seen abroad his yacht preparing for departure to Norway. Neglin is wanted both by the police and his creditors. Oh, well, that's <gasps> that's good for him. That's it. Mm. Jail. <laughs> that's Here it is. Now yes. I begin to understand that young man's story, but I am still unclear as to what connects him with the murder. It is time to ask Neglin. Him. He's probably the son of Neglin who went missing. Okay, documents. All right, investigate Peter. That's what you're doing. No. What's his role in all of that? So, what, are you going to talk to him again? What, do I have to talk to him again or do I have to go back? Yeah, let's go back. We'll talk to him again. A letter. This is where I keep oh. my this post. This is where I'll keep my post. Okay. How That's... dare you ask anything out? This is where I keep my pick. Got the yard. God. <laughs> Man. Must pay a fortune in cab rides. Looks so sad. Mr. Holmes? Damn right. None other. Wait. Locked. Nope. Okay. Locked. What do you have to do with Dawson and Neglin? As I shake him vigorously. <laughs> Sir, please. <laughs> I have heard the story of Dawson and Neligan, the West Country bankers. Yes. Joshua Neligan was my father. <gasps> I called I am it. aware that it had a bad ending. When the bank failed, it ruined half the families of Cornwall. Whereupon Joshua Nelligan disappeared. My father was under extraordinary pressure. Dawson had retired. I was only ten years of age at the time, but it was still old enough to feel the shame that befell our family. As you should. My father was shame. convinced that he could pay off all his debts if the creditors gave him time. He set sail for Hammerfest in Norway in his small yacht just a few days before an arrest what was warrant the name was of the yacht? He left my mother a list of the securities he was taking. No word was ever heard from him again. We believe that his vessel went down, taking with it everyone and everything on board. Thank you for the story, Mr. Nelligan. At last, we are making some progress. He says it so condescendingly. Finally, we're making some progress. The police seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. It has always belonged to me. Uh, cute. The engraving. Mm -hmm. The ring's date of engraving is many years ago. You would have been a child then, hardly in any position to receive such an item from a partner. Yeah, but explain yourself. So tell so, me again. Mr. Nelligan, who is Shakes. the true owner of the ring? The ring is mine. Liar. I just said it's not. What? Is that not it? Select the correct answer. So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? The ring is mine. Ah, oh, stop lying. It's the ring's engraving, right? You just chose that one. It's not it. Father, tobacco. Father's jacket. Father's jacket. Okay. Did it. No, Mr. Nelligan. I believe that the ring had belonged to your father. Oh, but, but, but how do you know? The jacket you are wearing is made of an expensive fabric that only a man of exceptional wealth could afford. And you your poor ass can't afford it. You do not seem to be a rich man, Damn. Mr. Nelligan. 
Furthermore, the garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else, most probably your father. With your father gone and taking with him the family's wealth, as a little boy you had to find yourself a manual job, and it was most probably cleaning fish. You cut your hands off while working. Because you're I a clumsy little scars. fuck. Like, I'm speechless, Mr. It's Holmes. Like so, like, it all happened salty. exactly as you say. Interesting. Joshua Nelligan and Peter Carey were both at sea in Norway. There is definitely some connection between Peter Carey and Joshua Nelligan's disappearance. What am I doing here? I've done what? nothing wrong. What? What now? Ship's log. Ugh, oh, I gotta go all the way back there. There's a lot of going back and forth in this game. Mm-hmm. Because if the yacht that was being sailed was done by the guy... Ooh, yeah. Um, was done by the guy who got murdered, maybe he is the reason... Whoa. No, I think that was there before. Eighteen eighty-three. That's the one I need. This is the crew list of the Sea Unicorn. What a great name! Yet to look for. It was uh, something. I'll know when I see it. Log notes for June. Nothing unusual. Log notes for July. Nothing special. Yes. Next. Log notes for August. These pages have been torn away. Oh no. Canadian Pacific Railway, CPR. A torn piece from a bond certificate. I have seen this abbreviation somewhere very recently. There are three oh, ways no. of discovering oh, no. what happened in August Please of 1883. Please don't have me do another 3D puzzle. The sea unicorn. Sherlock the Phelps. Two of these will <laughs> That's 1247. Oh no. It's going to start shouting at everybody. We need to locate vital witnesses. What? Yep. <laughs> wow. Go back to your house. You gotta look at the. Go to tr <laughs> something about the unicorn. I missed that woman. How can I help, detective? I know. You're supposed to ask her for all, all the things. Save a lot of going back and forth, that's for sure. Something new, Watson. I have the list of sailors who were aboard the Sea Unicorn. We shall soon learn what happened to Nelligan's father. I have only to find them. Let us hope they are still working at the harbor. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard... I doubt it, Watson. And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet for now. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. Oh, no. And who might they be? The secret police division of Baker Street. Ah, you mean young Wiggins and his gang? Yes. Believe me, you'll receive more useful oh, assistance yeah. from these little urchins than from a That's dozen That's something Holmes likes detectives. to do. He likes to pay children to get information. Those children are everywhere. They see and hear everything. And they are cunning. All they lack is organization. I'll summon them. How will you do that? To which he uses a dog there whistle. There is always a watch beneath our window. I have only to call him. What? What do you mean? Oh. There's a boy outside our window. Wiggins! Hey, you... Hey. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? At your service, Mr. Holmes. Oh my god, wash your Wiggins, face. Wiggins, I need you to track down certain people Dirty, get out. <laughs> I'll give you a list. You can You look read, like a sticky you? child. Big Oliver from our gang. He can. Because his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. Have you been crying? Fascinating. Here is the list of sailors. Sailors? Easy. Just got to look where the rum and the red lights are. Okay. Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Holmes, but the inspector asks that you come to the station as soon as possible. Oh my god, I just got Thank home. you. I'll be there shortly. What up? You my moved. Dresses. You caught someone. At least now you have a suspect. Oh, I can. I can. S oh, hey. <laughs> Whoa. Um... 
That oh, yeah. is a big Bertha. It's like she knows. Woo! Is she still there? Oh my god. Is this what he do does in his free time? <laughs> Hey, the lady, you're looking pretty good now. Creeping. My analysis table. It is useful for my work. He has like a tiger pelt. Oh, wait, no. I was going to leave. I got to go. Scotland Yard is where he said he had to go, right? Yeah. I think so. Let's see. Can I make more deductions? No. Our loading screen's not um, slow enough for me to deduct. What? A cutscene. Oh. I'm glad to see you. Boy. As always, what happened? <laughs> we have a new As suspect. Always, you're always Liam glad to Hurtley. see me, Lestrade. I'm thinking that this case will be resolved very quickly now. Interesting. Pray tell. Well, the constable that I left at Woodman's Lee noticed a suspicious individual prowling around during the night. <gasps> Do you have him here? No. Yes. Oh, He yes. refuses to speak with us, but we'll make him talk. Let us hope so. We're gonna give him a tickle Oh, yes, tickle one fight. more thing. The constable told me that at the time of his arrest, the fellow was writing a letter. <gasps> hmm. Do you have it? Of course. It's in the evidence room, at your disposal. Admit that for once, Mr. Holmes, Scotland Yard is a step ahead of you, right? That's another thing mm, the Strat always thinks. Whee! Evidence. Go look at the book. This one. Oh. These are the suspect's belongings. Boots. Liam Hurtley's old boots. They're a size nine and a half. You gotta take them over to the thing now. Oh my god. You think? The mm -hmm. stains are fresh. They can be removed with the proper chemicals. This napkin, I like Pen. it. It's mine. Nothing unusual about it. What? Yeah, you have to look at these the notebook are again. The suspects belonging. I wonder if these are connected. Aha. CPR. S that one. Now we have the proof that Nelligan's papers uh, were no finger to here. tap tap. It seems <laughs> that they have vanished, however. <gasps> Deduct. Powers of deduction activate. Wait, you know. Breaking attempts. Missing papers. Retrieving the notebook. The breaking attempts were made in order to recover the notebook that had been lying in the pool of the victim's blood. This proves the guilt of the person who made these attempts. Looking for papers. Nelligan was looking for his father's papers inside Black Peter's cabin. It explains his presence at the scene of the murder. I think it's this one, right? Uh... Yeah, I think so. All right, any other clues? Missing papers, missing tin box. <gasps> oh, jeez. Valuable bond certificates. Oh, it's a ball sack now. All Ooh. right. Nelligan's motive. John Nelligan could have been caught stealing the bond certificates. This might have been a motive for him to murder Peter Nelligan's innocent. John Nelligan is a victim of circumstance. He does not fit the portrait of a murderer either by physical or psychological description. I would say that one. At least for now. Anything else? <gasps> no gardener. Oh, wait. No. All right, well, we got to go back home. Yay. Right, we gotta go back home. No, you go to the crime scene first to put the shoes. Yeah, okay. Good idea. And then you could probably get another brain blast. Is that what we're gonna call? Them? Brain blast. Uh, brain connection. Brain blast. Yeah, I think so. Running, running, running. Shoe. Slam it. Eh. The yeah. boots match the footprints exactly. Aha. Brain blast. Now you do no gardener, no footprints, no gardener. And then it's done. Yeah. 
Liam Hurtley's boots were the at the match matched the, the footprints at the Woodman Lees, thus proving that he was there. Judith Carney denies that he was there, Gardner. Wait, Judith Carney denies that. Wait. That he was her gardener. Yeah. Well, she didn't like deny him specifically. Go talk to the go, the go smack the lady. Yeah. Give her. Some, she has to give you more information now. I thought you fucking said you didn't have a gardener. You lying bitch. The garden's nice, by the way. <laughs> it's immaculate. It's very well maintained. Listen here. Who could do such a thing? My poor. Well, yeah, that's an excellent question. I'm gonna get back to work on that. Yeah, uh, you can can you can continue to think about that. I'm <laughs> going to just leave. Bye. I'm just gonna take this evidence home with me. That's not how you smoke a pipe. Wait a minute. You don't just. You don't hold it to your bottom lip. Watson, I have a harpoon here. Stab. Hang on, let's see if my girlfriend's still there. I like to watch her. Hey, baby. How you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> I need to prepare a chemical agent that is capable of removing fresh ink. Right, For this play. purpose, the chemicals from the flasks should be combined in a certain order to perform a chain reaction. Okay. Oh, uh, because you have to, what, you're First basically condition. making thinner? All seven reagents should be used. Second um. condition. Orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition. What? Colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. Okay. Wait, what? We'll start with some blue. Okay. And then... Green. Sure. And then clear. I thought it was after. Put it back. Put it back. <laughs> orange. Because that one, and then... And then the orange. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, but you're missing one then. No, something isn't right. Uh, it exploded. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the beginning again. Okay, then refill, right? Give me those chemicals back. <laughs> right. Okay, so blue first. Blue. And then other blue, I guess. But the third one has to be yellow. Done it. Is that what he said? I believe so. Because there's not three yellow. I know. I think it's blue. Or green and blue, maybe? Blue, green. And then let's do clear. Sure. But that says after. I know, but there's two clear, so... Oh. Yeah, alright. Whatever. Figure still have a blue. All seven need to be used, though, right? I don't know. Figure it out. No, something yeah, isn't one. right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning. And then explosions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, no. So I was doing it right. It's the moment you mess up that he's like, wait a minute. So blue. Blue, blue. No, it's blue, green. Blue, green, blue. Green. And then blue again. Blue. And then orange, orange, clear. I don't think you're right. Um. No, something See, you isn't were right. wrong. I was doing I it right. I need to start the reaction. Uh, but wait, I don't. It's oh, I see. Okay, no, you, you missed the clear one. I see it. Yeah. Black. <laughs> no. <laughs> so. It's, I see. It's, a, it's top row first and then bottom row. It's not, it doesn't continue from the. Yeah, so. that's what I was doing. Uh, you mind your business. Blue. Green. 
clear. No. Because clear is after orange. Yeah, but there's two clear. No, but see, look. There's a, on the top row, it goes blue, question mark, question mark, orange, and then it's supposed to be clear. They just don't have it written down there. So definitely need an orange and then a clear and the, t and the first four. So then blue again? Yeah. And then orange and then clear. Come on, put it in there. And then clear everything we did. <laughs> Puts it in the orange one. <laughs> <laughs> there, now orange and clear. And then Watson is like, oh, thank you, Holmes. I was just <laughs> thinking I was so thirsty. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> My insides. <laughs> Done. Now I can proceed further. Good job. See if Nailed it first try. Letter sheds a little... Yeah. Sheds right. a little... Lup. Yep. Oh, I gotta... Yeah. Yeah. I was like, this stuff isn't working. Now sniff it. It's chloroform. <laughs> <laughs> it passes out. <laughs> right there in the middle. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Done. Can't get all the blood out. I did oh, as you okay. asked and hid them well. Interesting. Ooh. How would Hurtley react to this? Two hours later. <laughs> I just can't figure out this god, this freaking mix. Ugh. All right. How's my boo? Oh, okay. <laughs> Time I'm to leave it. No, let's go. Her name's Bertha, and she's beautiful. Big, beautiful. Bertha. All right, back to wait. You got the shoe, and that works. Wait, I got, I got, I got. I wanted to brain blast real quick. No. You're right. Okay, yeah, I'll back to Scotland Yard. What a bunch of back and forth. Yeah. And what's exhausting is this is all in one day. That's a lot of traveling, <laughs> those poor horses. They're like, oh no. But I bet that that cab driver in front of his house makes so much money. He just yeah. like loiters around Baker Street knowing that. <gasps> Ooh, it's unlocked. It's unlocked. It sniffs. Oh. Shape of noses. <laughs> Why? All right. How is the investigation going, Mr. Nothing. Holmes? Mind your business. Do you have any idea who the murderer is yet? No, get it. I'm leaving. Close. Slam the door. <laughs> Can you go down there? Yeah, that's uh, the morgue. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hey. hey, hey, bud. You want to get interrogated? Hey. Click. What? Hi. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. <laughs> Why does he sound like such an asshole? This Allow me to introduce myself. <sighs> My name is Sherlock Holmes. I would like to ask you a few questions. I've already told the police that I've nothing to say. And you're not even part of the police. Precisely. And considering your situation, it might be wise to speak with someone who is, shall we say, rather more neutral. You are a suspect in a murder case. Oh, no. I know. Inspector Lestrade told me. It's ridiculous. Could you at least tell me who you are and exactly what happened that you should be brought here? My name is Liam Hurtley. That I can tell you. But you're not getting any more than that. It's okay. I'm going to stare well, at your body and deduct we shall you. See. I'm going to deduct you so hard, sir. That stare, though. No, there's only a few things on him. All right. His nose. Oh. No. <gasps> that thing. Old scar. Check his pockets. <gasps> the, the crested tit. The crested tit. Were you fucking his wife? She had a tit too. Oh no. Papa, stop. 
plant Wait, remains. What do you do? I want to get. Why? Why are you jumping on my lap? Huh? Gardener hands. The wife was lying. That lying bitch who's fucking the gardener. Oh no! Tell me, Mr. Hartley, what were you doing at Woodman's Lee? Woodman's Lee? I've never been there. Ah, uh, wait, you... Uh, your boot matches. The second pair of boots that you had with you when you were arrested perfectly match the footprints found near the cabin where Peter Carey was murdered. Footprints? That's your proof? How many men have boots like mine? That doesn't make me a murderer. Uh, yes, actually. Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, why would does you he care have like light? I don't His remember. Hat should be I know. I just know that. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Well, gardener. Well, Cup Garden. The garden's immaculate. You do a great job. Wait, what? What would I be doing there anyway? Yeah, gardener. Gardener. Because you are the gardener at Woodman's Lee. Ah. Uh, I'm not. How did you... How did you I figure that out? your hands. They told me that you work with the earth. Small fragments of plants snagged to your trousers indicate that you were mowing very recently. But the most obvious clue And then he's like, and, and I was just at Woodmansley and I was saying it was such an immaculate garden that was recently mowed. Mistaken. <laughs> all right, all right, you got me. Yes, I am a gardener. And I went there to get my tools. Liar. Why did you do so it? So tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what did you hide? Hide? What are you talking about? D You're not pressing the right uh, button. Never mind. Wait, no. So it's tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what your did you hide? Put your ring finger up. That's cute. Hide? I got it. What are you talking about? Yeah. Hide, 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 hide. Hurtley's letter. Yes. That one. I did as you asked and hid them well. Should I continue? And then it's like an erratic. Uh, that sounds that. cool. Yeah. That's impossible. Read, why don't you no, continue reading chemistry. that? That sounds like a nice Nothing poem. <laughs> well, I hid them well, and then it like goes into like an erratic poem to the man's wife. You want to know <laughs> I can't wait to have your sweet embrace. Tools. It was to do with my work. See. I will check that, Mister Hurtley. I think the game is freaking out that you put That's a hat on. Now. Hurtley's stories are false leads, but now I know one thing for certain. I must examine the site where the garden tools are kept <gasps> at Woodman's Lee. And then I gotta go call that guy's wife a fucking liar. Remember, chat? I was all like, yo, you got a gardener? And she's like, nah, my husband does everything, and now he's dead, and I'm really sad about that. I get to go there and be like, you lying bitch. Squeak. She's dead too. Oh no. My poor husband. Oh. See. It seems that the garden was well maintained. Yeah. I've... <sighs> Listen here, bitch. I'm gonna shake you aggressively and ask why you lied to me. Does the name Liam Hurtley mean anything to you? No, I don't know anyone by that name. You gotta check her face for expre uh, her. You gotta check her expressions. Madam, we have information that the valuable stolen papers are hidden amongst the garden tools here at Woodman's Lee. Why isn't he calling her out? We need out? to find them. Oh my. Our tools are kept inside the shed that's right behind me. Here is the key to open it. Or what if her husband, like, Thank lied you, to her saying that he did all the work, but, <laughs> like,. He did hire somebody, but never told her. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what could be hidden here. Sight. Mm, yes. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Sherlock vision. Sherlock vision activate. Ah. Planks. Ill-fitting. Oh. A, st a stuff, a stuff. A floating box. I think the wife was in cahoots and asked this guy to steal the things and then hide them. 
Let us see what is in this box. Oh, I get to pick a lock. What? What is this? How, how do? So you rotate all or you right click to rotate. Ah, okay. There. Yes. Did it. Rotate it? The whole thing? I did. No, rotate all. Oh, there we go. Oh, well. You have to select. Can you select the green one? No. Uh. Oh, wait, oh middle mouse button. There you go. Okay. Okay, well, that seems right. So that one must be moved like that. Aha. There you go. Did it. Did it. Nailed it. So easy. A bundle of letters in a woman's hand with the Carey family monogram. Ooh. Herkley and Mrs. Carey were in a relationship. <gasps> Called it. That is interesting. Oh, chat. They're doing it. <laughs> Liam, my dear, you have been so good to me all the time that I've known you. I cannot describe these feelings, but I suppose that they are sinful and no good can come from them. I fear what might happen. I fear going against God. I think... I thank you for your care, but I cannot leave the man with whom I have been bound by God. It is his <laughs> divine will, and thus my husband is the cross that I must bear. He makes my life a living hell. Hell. But bruises fade, and you must not worry. Worry for me. Oh. Well, that uh, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Listen here, bitch. I'm going to slap her. And then I'm like, liar. Madam, I am aware of your affinity with Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? Lies. Romantic correspondence. Mrs. Carey, we found your letters. My we? letters? I asked Liam to return them to me. I wanted to burn them. Why did Mr. Hurtley put them inside the garden shed? I, shed? I don't know. I wanted them back, but I couldn't see him. Not after what happened. Well, not after he killed my husband, as though oh, I told this him is to. Terrible, terrible, Liam! How could he? I, after what he has done. You believe that he killed your husband? Because that's what I'm no, believing. I do not. I do not know. Leave me alone, please. Okay. I have more questions, though. Thank you, madam. Right. I wonder if Wiggins has managed to find any sailors. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, you look ugly when you cry, so stop Brain it. blast. Well, brain blast. Let's see if I can focus with all that ruckus of the woman crying behind me. Mm-hmm. Carrie's confession. Carrie's letter. Harmless flirting. Yeah. Okay. Hurtley's innocence. No, I think he killed her. To be with the wife. That's right. Still I think. missing some things, though. Yeah, I know, right? The heck. Alright. That one and that one. Oh, wait, it undid this one. No, because you gotta choose. Oh, yeah. No, desperate jealousy. Ball sack. Another ball sack. What does this ball sack say? No, Hurtley's motive. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. But let's go see what Wiggins comes up with back to Burger Street. Oh, God, you're so loud. Oh, get out of here, lady. Oh, God. I mean, I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> you're like, get out of here. Leave your own property. Wait, whoopsie. Tab. Uh, here. Baker Street. Let's see what Wiggins comes up with. 
chat, half of this game is just traveling by horse, apparently. <laughs> uh, but fortunately, we have a good enough computer where the like load times are nothing. This game's not even installed on a solid state, Mr. so Rudge, imagine if it was. We found the sailors from that list you gave us. Well done, Wiggins. Let me see. That a boy slaps him on the ass. Hugh Pattons, James What's His Butt, Patrick Something, Rolf Talbot, John York Cook, Pablo Harpooner. <gasps> he died a week ago. This is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. This is interesting. Let us review Click. the other sailors. Is he going to say this that about... This is faster. Is he going to say this about... This man is a harpooner, and his initials are PC. The same initials that were found on the tobacco pouch. But so was the guy below. What? Oh, but he died. Wiggins, right. could you gather some information on one of the sailors that you found? His name is Patrick Cairns. Cairns. Sometime, Sometime later, later, because they don't want you to freaking we travel any further. Cairns. Good job, Wiggins. Where is he? Dead. He lives in a small furnished dump of a room. But he's he's always dead, at the sir. Sea Club, where he does arm wrestling Self for murder. Money drinks. I killed him for Excellent. you. Excellent. Here is your reward. Two guineas. Thank you, sir. I can buy a whole house with this. Yeah. Alright, so I gotta get changed because if I go dressed in a top hat in a sailor's place, they're gonna be like, there's something suspicious about you. So, no, I want. Oh, I should change. Yeah, bandit farmer. Whatever, I'll just wear casual. I thought I had to change. They would say, wouldn't they? If you needed to change? You have a brain blast, by the way. <gasps> brain blast! <laughs> Peter Carey was a non smoker. <gasps> no, not choose. If the patch belongs to Patrick Cairns, it indicates something, because he clicked too fast. If I wish to speak to Cairns without alarming him, yes, I had see. better dress as a sailor. Watson, I need a sailor's uh, outfit. Let me borrow Give me one your of clothes. You. <laughs> right. I don't buy such das daftly things. All right, Ghastly. So I got. I gotta look like. We have to go just all the way to number one. What, do I not have any other hairstyles? No, you don't. This sucks. Oh, and these are locked too. They're all locked, yes. We went through this already. I just, I just want that mustache so bad. Ugh. Open. Goes to hide in the closet. Uh, so sailor, there we go. Got it. Yes, that one. Look at me, I'm a sailor now. Now I can approach Cairns and see if he recognizes the pouch. Shoves it, it in his face. Look at this, is this yours? I found it, an emergency. <laughs> You're a murderer. You son of a bitch. The sea witch pub. Oh, who dat? Hello, Toxic Stinger. Thank you for the follow. We appreciate it. Thank you. Continue. My kind of place. Howdy. Are you the guy? That guy. Who? No? Thank you, Toxic. Uh, thank you, Toxic Stinger. I appreciate that. Uh, we appreciate that. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sherlock Vision initiated. No, okay. I gotta hold F? Oh, yeah. No, it's just... I guess, what, can you scan people's faces by pressing F? What, am I, Connor? No. I'm pretty sure it's this guy. Hi. Hi. Hi, guy. Laggy? Oh no. How so? Hello there. Are you Cairns? What do you want? We've well, heard all about the gambling on arm wrestling here. 
You seem like oh, the nice voice. Sword, and I'm up for it. I start at ten shillings. Suits me. The stream is laggy. Oh no. I'm about to arm wrestle, so are you about to do something? No, you can go ahead. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Press the push? Oh. Press F. <laughs> Oh no. Uh oh, so what if he's exerting, you gotta eh, no, I have to use my no. stamina. Broke his arm. Yes. Now ask him if you murdered the guy. You were lucky. I wasn't focused. Let's go again. Oh, chat seems laggy. Dang it. Sure. Let's Wait. continue. Let me stare at your face real quick. Earring. That's a thing. Usually on that chat being laggy, you can just uh, refresh and it usually fixes it. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll look at the stream settings and just to make sure everything's good. Strong hands, even though I'm looking uh, at for next time. Thank you for letting us know, though. Oh, he has jaundice, yellow nails. It may it just it may not be uh, low latency mode or something. I'm well, ready to try again. Fine. If you want me to take all your money, I just beat you. No problem with that. Yeah, probably that. I know. <laughs> what a nasty accent. Uh, yeah. yeah. Go. I'm Sherlock Holmes, super strong, super strong Sherlock Holmes. Oh no, my stamina. He's like, mm, go, 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 bathroom. He's got crickets. <laughs> <laughs> How like anti? Is this just like yeah, click a mouse? You know, I know I make it look like it's easy, but it's not. So shut your face. Yeah, yeah, no. See? Like all the way back up there now. What? Do I have to let you win? No, don't. Just. Don't do it now, do it now. Oh. You see, it's like if you wait too long, then he. I don't let it charge. Do it now. Yes, there you go, I got it. Eh. Almost there. I got you where I want you, bastard. Alright, stop. Okay, there you go. I got it. Snap his arm. Just get this over with. Well, good for you, I reckon. You're stronger than you look. Here's your ten shillings. I'd like to buy you a drink. Take good it winner out. as well. That's good. I can feel the rough of your beard on my face. Nice. And that was it. They drank. <laughs> You're a good type. Seems you've managed to settle down in life. You've got money, eh? No. Not all that much. Oh, well. He talks like of a sky a At least you're not as poor as me. <laughs> Irish accent. No. No job? Why do you say poor? You're not working? I'm a harpooner. But you see, the whalers are rare. They don't pay much. So, as a result, find myself arm wrestling to pay for my drink. But what about your your home? Yeah, do you do not you pay for here? your home? <laughs> a harpooner. Interesting. Here, Peter. You've had a lot of adventures, I bet. Ooh. Uh, of course. It's been a dozen years since I've sailed. I've seen everything. Bold Wallace, damn Black Peter, Great Roger. We sailed to the Cape of Good Hope. Black Peter. Well, I've heard that name. <laughs> the name Black Peter. Black Peter, you say. Black Peter, you say. rumors about that one. He sounds Irish. He was the worst of them all. He was a liar and violent too. Swinging those fists of his around. 
was a tyrant and not much of a captain. At least, not as good as Great Roger. I see. Yes. I was told terrible tales about Black Peter. Black Peter. <laughs> I heard the worst. <laughs> Tell me, and let's have another drink. It was in 1883 that it happened. The August of that year. I knew that already, Peter though. <laughs> it happened 50 years ago court. to the day. I was a spare <laughs> harpooner. We were coming out of the ice pack on our way Whoa, home. whoa, hold on. Yeah, it's getting really close. This is getting more romantic. We saw a little craft that had been blown We were coming so hard. There was one man on her. Stop. And he wasn't a sailor. The crew must have thought that she had foundered, and they made for the Norwegian coast in the dinghy. I guess dinghy. they all drowned. We took the man on board. Whoa. Who was he? <laughs> and who was he? Fuck if I know. I don't know. During the crossing... He and the skipper enjoyed some long talks. His baggage was just a tin box. That's strange enough. Aye, even stranger was that on the second night, he disappeared. Oh, jeez. <gasps> nobody knew what happened to him. And of course, nobody could ask Black Peter about it. Because he beat us. You know, don't you? You know what happened, don't you? Don't you? I do. Can tell I saw it. the skipper tie his heels and push him over the rail in the middle of my watch on that dark night. Two days before we sighted the Shetland lights. Black Peter's a murderer. Murderer. Aye. Those that know him wouldn't be surprised to hear it. But all this must stay between us. All right? Of course. And then he goes back. Right to after shirt. I talk to the cops. Back in a second. I'm off to the Kazi. I'll be here with my drink. What about the plant? Jerry. Here it is. Yes, out loud. Here, uh, in this jacket pocket. Do I have to go to the bathroom now? Go to the bathroom. Is there a... Go to the bathroom. There. Pee in the corner, that's a bathroom. <laughs> Just pisses in the corner. <laughs> okay. Tap. Plant the thing in the thing. I did. Yeah. Talk to talk to him. Woo! I relieved my bladder. That's for sure. Tabaki. Have you got any tobacco? We've run out of mine. Nah, I lost my pouch. I don't know where. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, is this your tobacco pouch? Well, uh, oh, it is. What'd you do? How'd you do it? Magic. Keep in touch. Well, I have to Wink. go now. I know Slides a captain who's planning an expedition to Cape Cod. <laughs> it's captain just the, like the number three, name. like yes. He commanded the Pequod. He might need good harpooners. I'll tell him about you. Maybe, if you like, I. Oh man. I'm done here. It's time to leave. It's time to do a blank brain blast. There we go. He did it. Maybe he did it. Patch belongs to him. This means that he's at the scene of the murder. Uh, yeah, but maybe not. Karen's has confirmed so that the patch belongs to him. if you remember, and I don't know why Sherlock Holmes didn't bring it up, there's two glasses for the rum. Yeah. And his, his tobacco pouch was there. So it's like he came over, enjoyed a drink, probably had a smoke and then like accused him of something he got mad and then he's like i'm a stabby at the harpoon so I'm, I'm pretty sure this guy's guilty yeah but look at the other option kans has confirmed that the patch belongs to him this means that he's at the scene of the murder but it doesn't necessarily prove he's that he is the murderer yes because he's the harpooner and and uh could, could definitely do it but no so that I one's gotta different change it. In it, uh, innocent and they gotta change the desperate jealousy. Ugh, what? Harmless flirting. Karen's. So we we agree that Karen's is guilty, right? I think so. Chat, what do you yes, right? <laughs> right, chat, so we can put the decision on you guys. So if it's wrong, it's on you. No, no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's guilty. Because, like, he's the only one who would have the strength to be, like, stabby, stabby, <laughs> stabby. Face. Clearly. Clearly. 
All right, so we can choose. Oh, Karen's button. killed Peter Carey, but the murder was not premeditated. It was an act of self-defense, <laughs> an armed and irritated drunken sailor. It it's cool. elementary, my dear nerds. <laughs> Patrick Carey's is a cold-blooded killer. He has been found guilty of murder for Peter Carey. Must I don't think it was premeditated. I think he was like looking for work, and he he went and checked up on Black Peter because he's desperate. And he's like, yo, you remember last time I worked for you, how you threw that guy overboard? And he's like, the fuck I did, and probably tried to attack him. And then he's like, I'm a harpooner. Stab. I guess. That can't really be determined, though. But nothing, it doesn't seem like it's premeditated. It all seemed like it was a heat of the moment. And like that yeah, guy. Yeah, I guess. That guy. I like that guy. I don't want to screw him over too much. He seemed like a nice guy. All right. Go ahead and hit yes, then. Yes. Uh, I need some coffee chat. Hold on. What? We're about to break the case. Oh, yeah. You're right. All right. Never mind. Chat. The next day. Good afternoon. I must be at the wrong address. I'd like to speak with a ship's captain, a Captain Ahab. Is that Ahab, you? Ahab, that's from... No, my name is uh, Sherlock Dick. Holmes. That detective fella. So, you wanted to see me? That is correct. We need to talk. Hey, buddy. About what? About Black Butter. Peter, who was killed in his own hut with a harpoon. You know, don't you? See? Yes. Yes, so your sailor boy told now, me everything. <laughs> the tobacco pouch. You recognized it. Oh, the sailor. It was you. Unbelievable. Well, fine. I confess. But if you really do know everything, you should also know that I didn't want to kill him. See? He made me do it. I know. Did you know about this story with the bond certificates? Did you need money? Money. Yeah. I just wanted him to cough up a little silver. Ah. I'm out of work, and I thought maybe he could help me. Well, he refused outright, and he insulted me. I reminded him I knew all about Ooh. that murder he committed at sea in 1883. Then he got mad when I spoke about his treasure. I barely just had time to throw the harpoon at him before he could jump at me with his knife. You know the that truth? The reason, what will you do knife. now? I ask that you return the bond certificates. Keep some of them. You will need them in your exile. It is better that you leave the country for a few years. And you won't say anything to the police? I will not say anything as long as you return the money. Money. Well, I'll do as you ask. But what about Inspector Lestrade? I will deal with him. Goodbye. Goodbye, get the Fuck out of my apartment. It's good that you asked me to come, Mr. Holmes. We do need to talk. About what? What do you mean? Our case, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> you sent me a message via your little thug. His name is Wiggins, Inspector. Oh, Wiggins. Telling me that the case is solved. Well, Mr. Holmes, tell me, who is our murderer and where is he? The morgue. Eh? His name is, or rather was, Pablo Coventrao. He was also on the ship with Peter Carey, and he was a harpooner. I'll tell you everything, Inspector, but do calm down. Mrs. Hudson was will bring us tea was calm. and orange cake. <laughs> uh. Orange cake? You're spoiling me, Mr. Holmes. That's my favorite. Mm, that sounds good. Orange it's like cake. laced with rum or something. It's like, yes, oh, you can Mr. tell me Holmes. anything. <laughs> Inspector Lestrade told me that I should thank you for clearing my name. He also said that you were waiting for me here. I came as fast as I could. I cannot thank you enough. It is all because of you that this nightmare is finally over. I believe that this belongs to you. My father's securities. Incredible. But how did you get them? I have my way. It would take far too long to explain. Tell me. This is extraordinary. You are a genius. Then that may serve as an explanation. Goodbye, Mr. Nelligan, and good luck. Get the fuck out of Goodbye, my apartment. Goodbye, Mr. Holmes. 
And thank you. A thousand times thank you. Hmm. Nice. I accept the decision. About to finish the case. I like that it's like, are you sure? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. I feel good about that. Mm hmm Personality ranking, sympathizing. Oh. 81 people, 81 percent, like 81 people. I'm sure more than 81 people played this. Chose the same way. Nice. People made the same moral decision. I mean, like, it seems right. I'll go make you coffee. You can start the next one. Okay. Thank you. Is there a cat behind you? No. <laughs> All right, Chad, switching, switching places. Changing places. And you want me to go ahead and start? Yeah, no, no. All right, cool. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go ahead. Let's continue. Yes. Riddle on the rails. Uh. This trip to the countryside will be good for you, Holmes. Hmm. As your friend and your doctor, I really do recommend that you give yourself a complete change of scene. Fresh air, brisk walks, bird watching, chopping wood. Sounds intolerable. I mean, certainly it sounds delightful. <laughs> but you haven't sounds yet like told me who plan. your friend is. The one we're going to visit. Fine. He is a bee lover. A bee lover? Do you mean that he keeps bees? That must be Mrs. No, Hudson. No, I mean he Bringing the he warm does cloth bees. that I requested. There is someone to see you, Mr. Holmes. I have no time. Send whoever it is away. Yes, Holmes, I really think we ought to leave now. I said send him away. Who's this? Mycroft. <sighs> Sherlock. Oh, no. oh uh, Mr. Holmes? Perhaps you don't remember me. I'm Dr. Watson. Uh, we met at the Diogenes Club a few years ago. I documented our encounter in a short story I gave the title The Greek Interpreter. He does remember you, Watson. My brother remembers everything, and that is why he is so valuable to the government. We are about to depart for the train station. I know. You know? Sherlock, I need your help. There are people who presently threaten both our country and the Crown itself. You must help us with those methods of yours. Need? Help. Those are not words I would readily associate with you, Mycroft. I wrote you a letter, but you did not reply. And this is not about politics. It's about people. People similar to those whom you pretend to defend in your petty detective affairs. Everything is about politics with you, Mycroft. I'm not interested. Have some of your agents, your spies, or worse, undertake this job of yours. You are defending your people, and they have little to do with the people I choose to help, I can assure you. That is the point. Thank you. you think exactly as they do. Yeah. Who are they? The Merry Men. He is talking about the Merry, oh, Men, Merry Men. A band of idealistic they terrorists. They, Sherlock, they like to dance. They're do Merry please Men. think about it. They are planning something diabolical. Your country needs you. You need me, Mycroft, and you are not the country. Although, if your waistline expands very much further... Mrs. Hudson, tea will not be necessary. Dr. Watson, the train conductor, Mr. Parker, is aware that you will be seven minutes late. You are in the fourth car. The train will be waiting for you. Sherlock, enjoy your time in Staffordshire. And do, please, at least write to me on your return. No, actually, I'm not going to. What was he asking you to do? Right to him in return. No, I got that, but like before? No. My analysis table. It is useful for my work. He wants me to look into something. Uh. Yeah. My archive. I can always cons. This is just. Oh, take. 
Tick. <laughs> he stabs it again. The grotesque murder of a former captain, yes, has been resolved. Uh. Oh no, he's found dead of natural causes. Oh jeez. Hmm. Holmes, please call a cab while I pack my suitcase. We should be late for the train. <laughs> oh no. Uh, what about this thing? Fine, I'm leaving. Eh. Watson, Wait, look through I'll the telescope. We leave in five minutes for the station. Look at the telescope. I, I left already. <gasps> How could you? Because we have to go on the train. We it's, need to look at freaking Bertha to make sure our girl's doing fine. We'll, we'll look at her. We'll see her later. No, you won't. You'll come back. But we'll be here. We'll be back later. What a gloomy night. It was warmer inside the waiting hall. Since the station master told us that the train is about to arrive, we should not have to wait very much longer. Yes, at last. Attention! The train is arriving at the station. Please stand well away from the platform edge. What a I'll take your bags train and station. your blasted archive suitcase. He brought all of his newspapers but with him. Holmes, <laughs> the headlight. It's faded away. Something is wrong. I can't hear any sound from the incoming train. Excuse me, sir. Can you explain what has happened? He uh, topples over I with a knife know. in his back. It's as if the train vanished into thin air. Holmes, oh, geez, say sir. something. Quick, <laughs> fetch say a lantern something. and You're let an us idiot. take a look. Trains don't disappear like that. The train obviously went the other direction. It's too dark. Only fog and rails, nothing else. Uh, there is no use in stumbling around here at night. We will come back tomorrow. But what if the train has returned? The next morning, very early. What? Well, I mean, Watson's driving with you now, so you get to stare at him. Ooh. I have a, sp a harpoon as a souvenir. It's a souvenir. You remember you took it to stab a pig and you never returned it to the widow? Oh, yeah. You're that's just right. like, I guess this is mine now. That's well, mine. here we are again at Evesham Station. We have a full day ahead. Let us begin our investigation. Yes. Oh, wait. No, you can't go that way. You gotta go in the building. But look at those guys. You can't. They have nothing to do with this. Hey. Trains can't just vanish without leaving a trace. It isn't... What? It is impossible, is it? It isn't what? Take the map. This map will be useful. Just takes it? Mine now. Oh my god. Sherlock Holmes steals everything. This is mine now, chat. Alright. Um. Eh. Eh. How much do I weigh? Trains can't just vanish without leaving a trace. Uh, it yep. Hey. F what? First of all, let us examine the area where the train what disappeared. Are you doing? What happened to your legs? Watson. But oh, gosh. How'd he end up down there? I don't know. But look. Quicksand got him, chat. I don't know. <laughs> you gotta go inside and talk to the people and stuff. I can't. Yeah. I said I have to go investigate stuff. First of all, let us examine the area where the train disappeared. Over here? This way. <laughs> Use your Sherlock vision. This one. It went... It runs me over. This is the place where we saw the train vanish last night. It's kind of like uh, that a scene from Ghostbusters. Item, possibly thrown from the train. <laughs> railway sleepers. Nothing unusual. And we, what? People sleeping on the railway? A discarded item. Possible. There are no tracks or footprints on the ground. Footprints. Footy prints. But wait, hold on. The rails have not been touched. There's nothing unusual here. 
Okay. There are no signs to indicate that the train ran off the track, nor are there any other traces. There is nothing whatsoever. There are no clues. But then, a negative result is also a result. Oh, I see what you're getting at. No clues and you're smiling. Yes, Watson, I do smile on occasion. <laughs> this mystery appears very promising. I smile when I think I'm smarter than you. The whole train just disappeared. It's unbelievable. It what? Yes. But... It's unbelievable. You wouldn't believe it. That's weird. All right. Hold on. But look. See this thing. It's it's a projector. And in the train... was just a projector. <laughs> We'll get there eventually, chat. But how did they mask the uh, train noises? Evesham. They just rolled it off the off the thing. There you go. Open. Can Slam I take your... this? Yeah. No. Can I take this? Sure, I can only steal certain things. Can I take this? Platform ticket. He smiles when he farts. <laughs> hmm. I do smile on occasion. <laughs> uh, this one. Message to all stations. Mr. Robinson is located at Birding Birdington Station. A new telegram. I think we should meet this, Mr. Robinson. And put it in my pocket. Line, Nottingham, London train. Uh, yes. Special wagon. Here is the train set. Uh... A telegraph. Cool. A coat. A fireplace. A pitcher. Hey. Is that your bike, bud? Good morning. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. Yes, I remember you. I'm station master. I was all like, the train's missing. And you're like, yes, so, we'll come back tomorrow. You are Mr. Holmes, the great detective. He has a weird butt chin. Will you be investigating what happened? I shall indeed. Like his it butt is chin is like two cheeks spread. Train could disappear like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> and to think of all the poor people inside it, the passengers, the driver. Stare at him. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Look at his butt chin. No. Butt chin. Mm. <laughs> Teeth. No. There. What Dirty. do you do? What's this? What's this? He's married. What's that? You. Nice. Honorary badge. Best train conductor. He's got balls on his chin. <laughs> Head. Old. <laughs> He's an old guy. He's an old Mary train. Oh, wait. Hold on. Attendant. He's got balls for a chin like Peter and Griffin. Could you please give us any exactly. details he looks, about uh, the train? You know? Well, there was nothing so very special about it. At least not that I can recall. My memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> However, if you need it, you can have the train composition report. It's inside my office. Good. I'm going to take it. Give me. According to the train composition report, there was a special wagon. What does that entail? That's a highly secure car ordered by a private party. Uh, it is generally to carry something of value. Uh, those wagons have iron walls, you know, without any windows. Uh, and they're fitted with a complex key lock. That is important information. Do you know what was inside this particular wagon? Certainly not. No, that's private. And it's not my responsibility to allot the wagons to whoever. Yeah, jeez. He's all shady, like, uh, hmm... Like, if Ellie Noir taught me anything, this man is lying about something. <laughs> He's Was there anything from exceptional me. about any of the passengers aboard the train? What do you mean? Like officials? I wouldn't know. Oh, oh but now that you mention it, yes, there was <laughs> something. 
Tell me. There was a message from Bridlington Station saying that the train had been delayed because of an issue with the passengers. But what kind of problem that they didn't say? That is interesting. You mentioned a problem at Bridlington Station. I should like to visit this station. Could you mark it on the local map? Take me. Of course. Take it's me a there. Suburban railway you station. silver fox. You might take a cab there. Oh no. See you later, my Cabs. good man. Can you mark it on this map that I that I <laughs> that recently I acquired? <laughs> that is definitely not yours. All right, let's wait. Railway post bags. Okay. So, can we leave? What's this? Hey, hello. Spare part mine. This part is probably okay. from a locomotive. I'll ah. take these, thank you. An old locomotive bell. This part is probably from a locomotive. Yes. Oh, you don't say the that there's train parts in this train station. What? The train parts in the room labeled train service. <laughs> God. Obviously for train maintenance. This is what I mean when I say like the pop <laughs> like back in the 1800s, people like were it was so hard to fathom how smart <laughs> Sherlock Holmes was. I mean, they'd straight up be like Sherlock Holmes. How the hell do you do it? You genius of a man. But like now, it's just kind of like, you don't say. Huh. Special wagon. Ain't got enough. You haven't made any deductions yet. Yeah, don't remind me. You don't have enough for a brain blast. <laughs> I thought Sherlock was supposed to know all the things in five seconds. What the heck? This guy looks so sad. Well, because he knows he's gonna have to take Sherlock Holmes back and forth to multiple places various times. He should be happy about it. I gotta pay him, right? Yes. Oh, I don't like that. I wish I wasn't here taking money and taking you places. Hey. If Sherlock was a woman, he'd be burned as Holmes, a witch. How is yeah. it They'd be like, sorcerer, burn him at the stake, and then throw stones at him. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Howdy. Railway post bags. Yes. Quite. Hi. Okay. Hello, who are you? Good day to you, sir. Good day. Oh. To whom am I speaking? That's My name is not Sherlock a, That's Holmes, not the voice I was expecting from this guy. Are you a representative of this damned railway company? Because I have a complaint. He sounds we are not from the Australian. railway company. We are... Well, in that case, Mr. Shamrock Flomes, please excuse me, oh. but I'm not in the mood for idle chit-chat at the moment. Maybe that would explain. I thought he was going to have a southern accent. Look at that double chin, trying to hide beneath the beard. He looked like his yeah. His everything but the eyes looks Austra like, um... I told you. It's Australian. His name... John Goodman. Looks yeah. Like, like everything but his eyes. Yeah, he looks like John Goodman. Fancy shoes, crocodile skin. Uh. Look at his double chin. His fat must be wealthy. Oh. Um, okay. Oh, I didn't go, go here before. You Who must you? be Mr. Mr. Robinson. Robinson. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I am leading the investigation of the disappearing train. It would help if you could answer my questions. Ah, well, all right. I have nothing to hide. Okay. I can't do an Australian accent. It's so subtle that I have, like, I literally struggle to try to do it. <laughs> yeah, no, I presume too. it was you who placed the order for the special I like, wagon. Scottish and British. Yes. 
It was to transport my valuable sucker. prototype safely to London. My prototype is a revolutionary device. It is capable of producing electricity. <gasps> what? I'm a businessman and an engineer. I had already found several potential customers for my invention. That guy's a witch chat. But I was very optimistic about the director's board who were traveling on the train. He can just produce electricity out of thin air. Oh, jeez. You mentioned a director's board. Which company do they own? The Chilean Barcazas Company. I had made an appointment with them. Now they are lost, along with the train and my prototype. Oh, what do you know about the Barcazas Company? It's a large South American company. They showed a great deal of interest in my prototype, and they seemed wealthy enough to do business Whoa, with. Whoa, that was like a limp, limp wrist thing. <laughs> they seemed wealthy him. enough. Hmm. This revolutionary machine of yours, was it very valuable? Yes. For God's sake, sir. It is priceless. Ooh. It could change the world we live in. And yet, I was selling it for almost nothing. I am a humanitarian, you see. That sounds crazy. I do crazy. not know if I You're will crazy. ever be able to get over this disaster. You're I cannot witch. believe that it disappeared with that damn train. Were you on the train? Mr. Robinson, could you please clarify? Were you traveling alongside your prototype? Yes, I was. But I had to step off the train. And all because of this stupid station master. I received the telegram declaring that an important person, a Mr. Bromsby, wished to see you in the waiting room. I, I merely informed you of this. Mr. Bromsby is a wealthy gentleman. His interest in my invention was truly unexpected. So mm. yes, of course, I agreed to see him. Unfortunately, he wasn't there. I thought perhaps he might have been delayed. So I chose to wait a while. But despite my requests, the train left the station without me. Absolutely unacceptable. <laughs> How the timetable is sir. strict. We cannot wait any longer. The regulations require the train to be on time. You are an idiot. Oh, he's a Karen. You will pay for it. I will sue you. I will speak to your Goodbye, manager. Uh, I'd like to speak to your manager. My Watson, double what? chin has a thing or two to say to them. Hey, Watson, can you back up, bud? Um, just like, real close. Angry passenger, what up, bro? This is an absolute scandal. It's always the same with these rail companies. No respect for the customer. Yeah, but... I have a feeling he's married, so make sure you look at his ring. Oh. Work clothes. <gasps> this guy should be at work, Chad. Married. Spin. And he's married. Oh, no. <laughs> Please calm down, sir. What is your concern? Concern? What is my concern? I'll tell you what my concern is. Last night, I were on the train, as usual, with my colleague, heading home. Then along came this ridiculous ticket inspector, who started arguing that our tickets were invalid. He made us get off the train, and what? he was extremely rude about it. What an asshole. Were you aboard the train that vanished last night? Yes. I heard that it disappeared, but I don't care because we would have stopped before then anyway. Our tickets were valid, and no doubt about it. And then, to top it all, like the ticket to inspector ride, pushed everyone bud. else out too, except for a bunch of rich. Well, because their type don't need a ticket. All right, and, Can uh, you recall uh, anything more specific about this fortunate group? Well, yes. They were all foreigners. Spanish-looking toffs with snake eyes. Ooh. Goodbye, sir. The ticket inspector forced all the passengers from the train, except for the directors of the Barcazas Chilean company. Yeah, I, uh, why? Why do you think? A telegraph. Yes. A telegraph. Aha. Uh -huh. Nobody stops. Good day to you, gentlemen. How may I help you? Good day to you, Just sir. Just here to rummage My through everything. My name is Sherlock Holmes. 
I am investigating the unfortunate everything in this office is mine. Now. Like they don't even ask for his credentials. I see. Like I'm investigating, <laughs> and they're just like, "Okie dokie, then, random civilian." Sure, walk in. Come do not on, take a look at this worry. thing. I have only a few questions. A few questions after I stare at your face. He has a weak chin. He's young. He's got tie. Clean clothes. What's this? Instructions, because he's still learning. Well, what'd you do? That you made the train go away. You did it. You stole the train. <laughs> Station Master Everett from Evesham told us that you reported a problem with some passengers last night. Indeed. This train is a regular line for those who work at Nottingham. But yesterday, everyone was asked to get off the train here at my station. I've no idea why, and it delayed the train. But the worst of it is that now I have to deal with two furious passengers who are complaining about the company's service. They Aww. stayed here the whole night, but people do not usually pay much attention to the regulations, you see. There are very up. strict and clear rules. Paragraph 234 of Article 2G-43 states that in the event of a complaint, you must... Yes, yes, thank you. I understand. Anything else unusual other than Apart unloading the, the entire train? Did you notice anything else that was unusual last night? Other than the train completely And I missing? mentioned it in my report to our higher management on the matter. What was it? Sorry, but I can't tell you. The station master's reports are confidential. It's a train. Confidential, but... you say. How long have you been working here? Sorry. Yeah. I've worked here long enough to be uh, quite capable of managing a railway station. Cute. Let me speak frankly, Mr. Bertram. Yeah. Your age and your lack of confidence in your position are quite apparent. You cannot deny that you have only recently completed Sorry, your Joe, studies. Our microphone's really I was at the top of my class. Listen here, young man. Stand, I am aware that you wish to protect yourself behind all these regulations, but I represent the law. I'm the and law. you are obstructing the investigation I mean, I of an important case. Belong here, I would but, suggest that you uh, cooperate with Mr. Holmes. Think of your career. But what, but uh, what credentials is, does fucking Holmes well, have? I'll tell you everything. He's got a paper First badge all, with like a, I a the child ticket star on it. For it was he who asked yeah, I'm, a, like, I'm an inspector. It was not his or right to like, do so. It was very Ron <laughs> Swanson, and then, where he like gives a paper on, that says like, I received I a most peculiar <laughs> telegram from my colleague at Chesterfield Station, the next stop along the line. The legitimate bloke. Strange message. What did the telegram say? Well. That was the peculiar thing. It was almost unreadable. It was full of errors and awfully vague. It was hard to understand if the train had correctly passed that station or not. You can read it for yourself. We ought to visit Chesterfield Station. We need to confirm if the station master saw the train or not. No, right. but... Oh, okay. Chet... Chesterfield... <laughs> So they, somebody's trying to cover it up, but they're spelling it all wrong. <gasps> Brain blast! Talk. Don't touch anything, please. Oh, nice. Touching all the things. Tap, 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 tap. Brain blast! Uh, let's punch the window. I saw. Uh, hey. Holmes, how is it even possible for a train to disappear? Can we move on beyond that? I need help. <laughs> Why don't you hit the brain blast? You. I will. I just went and finished inspecting. Hey. Hey. Hey, you. Alright, let's see. Uh, no traces of the train. An event. Oh. No. No. A uh, special wagon. Wait, what? Uh, train vanished with people. There we go. The Chileans stay on the train. Was just a coincidence. The train conductor overlooked them. Yes, of course. The directors of the Chilean Barcazas company were intentionally left on the train. The controller remo removed all the passengers from the train except for them. Yep, I think so. Uh, can I go back? I don't 
No, I don't have enough evidence for that. Or that, or that. All right. That's all we know so far, chat. Let's continue. As soon as I can get control of my character area. So now we have to go. Excuse me. Hi. Yes. Eh. We gotta go to Chesterfield. I got Watson. He's like, hey, what are you doing, bud? Oh, we're here. That was such a short ride. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a short ride. I don't even know why they need trains to get to one place to another. I know. <laughs> I could have just walked here. The station's like right, right there. Oh, this is nice. Pretty. Hey. Lock Locked. Oh, no. You gotta go in the other door. Yeah, no, I'll go. Ooh, my trash can. This bin is full of empty bottles. I can't go straight. Oh, my gosh. Why are you struggling? Why are you standing? What happened to you? Just stand in there. Just go talk to the guy. A fishing advertisement. Advertisement. Give me. Oh. I had thought that all station masters knew the Morse code, but apparently not. Uh, I need to do some some referencing. Ooh. I think that guy's drunk. Hey, bud. What's up? He's having a stroke. Oh, Which no. explains why there's a bunch of bottles in the garbage. Hey, wake up. How could he fall so asleep so. at work like this? Excuse me, sir. Wake up. Wake ah, up, bitch. Oh, his ew. Breath. He must have swallowed half a distillery. <laughs> and that explains the how. By his sleeping off the alcohol, you mean. Yes. Wake up, please, huh. sir. What? The 18 hour 72 train has arrived? Good day to you. We are investigating the disappearance of last night's train. So maybe it wasn't intentionally spelled wrong. Maybe you should just a drunkard who, like, We should like to ask you a few questions. He's just a drunk boy, Chad. And he looks like he's in trouble. He's just a drunk boy. Nobody loves him. No. <laughs> Red nose. He's blushing because of alcohol. Clean clothes. He's got something. He did it with the fishing line. He stole the train. Ooh, and an alcohol flask. What else? Also married. What a coincidence. <laughs> Were there any passengers who got off that particular train at your station last night? No. Nobody, it seems to me. Although I did not leave my office, so... No doubt you were <laughs> very busy. You don't say. You can't ever get any peace around here. Now you have to send a telegram each time a train arrives and departs. <laughs> Guy yeah. should lose his job. The station master oh Bertram from Bridlington showed me a strange telegram that he received from you last night. It concerned the train, but it was barely comprehensible. What? He's a fastidious little twerp, that Bertram. I remember everything quite clearly. It was late, and I was tired, but I did my work. So what? There's no need to be so petty. <gasps> Yeah, but the thing, the binge drinking. The thing, oh, also. You there. were not tired. You were inebriated. Tell me the truth now, or I shall not hesitate to document your state in my report. My friend means that you will end up by being sacked from your position. All right. So I was drunk. I don't remember all of yesterday. To be truthful to you, please don't go harsh on me. How about you stop drinking at the job, Holmes. bud? This man has consumed a considerable amount of alcohol. He's not entirely helpless yet, but... It will not be long before he is. Obviously, his testimony cannot be trusted. This guy's a fool. Alright, so I have... Telegram, because he sucks. The train passed through the Chesterfield station, despite being unsure of the station master said in the report. The train never passed through the Chesterfield station. The station master was drunk and his testimony seems unreliable. He could have sent the report without witnessing the train. I think so. Yeah. 
It only makes sense. He's like, oh, I need to make it look like I'm doing my job. And I have all this food sitting out. Oh, look at the prosciutto and cheese. And he's got sausage and cheese or bread just hanging out. He's got just a loaf of bread. And hanging out on a... What is that called? <laughs> mantle? Send this man to jail. A fireplace mantle? <laughs> he's got just a bread like hanging out on the thing. Oh, yeah. A telegraph. Yes. <laughs> Where do you go now? Locked. Locked. There is no sense in asking the station master to open it. We shall have to pick the lock. Oh, okay. Be we're doing a good B and E guys, breaking and entering. Mm-hmm. How about I do this? Wait, uh, oh yeah, these are fun. Rotate. There we go. Did it. Did it. Did it. Did it. Hi. Give me... What's this? Ooh. These tools were used quite recently. They are still muddy. We should ask about them. Um. Railway post bags. That they are. That they are. Excuse me. Okay, I can't go that way. Ask him about them, or ask somebody else about them. Hey. Well, he's not gonna say anything. You Tell have me about quite these a number of dirty things tools, next tools door. lying around here. Ah, yes. Well, thank you for reminding me. I should clean them. Although, it might be easier to put them outside. Seems it might start raining soon. I meant, what were they used for? Fuck if I know, Some I never work. come here and borrowed them from me. Yeah, but why do you have they them? They wanted to lift the edge of the railway to one of the stations on the line so that the water wouldn't come in too close. Workers? Who were these workers? Well, they didn't seem to be from the company, but they was fine lads. They invited me to share a drink. <laughs> and whatever it was, it had a kick to it. They wasn't English. No, I don't believe so. But see, they knew just what a man needed to brighten up his dull evening. Okay. So, so they, they paid went... you off with drink. Well, they left, what was it, a certain, what was the race? They left like two people on board. But they weren't British, remember? I think Siri activated. Siri, get, Siri, stop. Stop it, Siri. Sorry, what was that? Doing? Um, they said that there was two people that were left on board and like we'd said it was by accident you're like no it's not and they weren't like british they weren't like from like the british isles or from like i want to say a south american country yeah chilean yeah holmes how is it even possible for a train to do oh, shut up watson we're figuring it out <laughs> all right so is there anything else i can expect is this what mycroft wanted you to do or I think so. Also, can we take a moment to think about how... So, Sherlock Holmes and Mycroft Holmes, like, mother and father, must have been the equivalent of Harry Potter at the end of Deathly Hollows, Because this is some of the dumbest names. Because, like, Harry Potter named his kids, like, Albus Severus Potter and stuff like that. Yeah, that's right. And, like... Mycroft Holmes, Sherlock Holmes, like, I've never met anybody with those names. Mm -mm. Same. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, wait. Like, even in history, I've never heard anybody with those names. Siri, Siri seriously. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's just they're such unique names, but they're also pretty terrible. A hand car wheelbase. Well, they just remind me of like authors who try too hard that with elements like elements of the names. same construction <laughs> were scattered everywhere. Watson, please tell me, do you believe in magic? <gasps> do you of believe not, in Holmes. magic? Then you are of the Three opinion that a train cannot simply disappear. Three 
Well, we both know that that is obvious. Why are you asking such peculiar questions? A little He's patience, like, What's magic Watson? have to do with any you of this? You will understand my point know, quite soon. So, the are you quite magic certain magic that you gone, saw the train at Evesham Station? Well, yes, of course. We saw it coming. The headlights and heard the whistle. But that is it. We didn't see the train itself. Oh, uh, but... Oh, Holmes, I'm a little confused. Somebody was playing us for fools. Somebody was using a fog machine and lighting effects. <laughs> <gasps> Brain blast! Ooh, nice. Let's see. No traces of the train in special wagon. Uh, there we go. Okay. Th that was it. Right? Sure. Because the other, no, that's what I chose. Because the other one was the um. See this? Because the other one was like the Chileans. The Chilies. The chili release. The dismantled handcar seems directly connected to our mystery. Reconstruct the handcar to see if anything stuff. So we gotta recreate. The Chileans were trying to steal the one thing that guy was like prototyping. Exactly. And they would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for us meddling kids. Oh, I should geez. use the appropriate object here. Oh, all right. Well, that yeah, one. put it together. That one. Build a train. Over there. No. That one? Yes. Eh. Use, yeah. Eh. And now the hand thingy. Uh, yeah. This one over there. And, and then you gotta rotate it. Uh, this one over here. <laughs> Did it. Look at this one. Oh, wait, what else? Hello? Breaks. Yes, everything needs breaks. <laughs> no breaks. Ah, where does he go? Right I there. I should use the appropriate object here. Well, no, turn spit it around. It, spit it there. This one. On that right there. Where's the piece of wood? That's it, right? No, because it would be like, wow, look what I did. Look, I built it all myself. Oh, yeah. But I don't have anything else to click. I mean, you can try escaping. No. Don't skip. I just hit escape to exit. I should use the appropriate object oh, here. Oh, to the left, babe. Down? Oh, this one that was hiding in the... In, in the, the wood pile, you're right. Blending in with the other wood on the floor, yes. So... Now here we have the fake train that we saw approaching Evesham Station last night. Doesn't look much like a train to me. Ah, uh, yeah, Be but you're a gullible Watson, son of a bitch, yet. Watson. So let Try me show using you. Your imagination. I know. Our train Shut up for a requires only a headlight and a steam whistle. D, can you make a steam whistle sound? Because I can. Wee. Chaga chaga taga taga tutu. Two. I take it. Mine. Also mine. I just like trains. Clickety clack down the track. Lots and lots of stuff. Trains. Trains. I swear to God, trains. <laughs> Ooh. They push the train away. Oh, jeez. They do that. Wouldn't it be like way heavier? Fake train. Can I the long that? pole is now attached. It will allow us to connect the headlight. And the headlight goes up there. The headlight is attached. And the the steam is, whistle is now I just, connected. I just keep on clicking. Holmes, what can we do to make the steam whistle work? It is elementary, my dear Watson. Oh, he's, they, we shall he said need a, a fire extinguisher. He said that thing. The fire extinguisher. Now let us see what we have here. Click. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta pump it. I'm a choo choo. Eh. All right, get on, Watson. Watson, I do believe that we have created an exact. All right, I'll see you back at the, the house. Get on and vanished uh, in front of get us the hell last out of night. I don't see you anymore. The criminal mind can be most inventive. I am somewhat in awe. So such a thing is possible. If someone went to all the trouble of creating this fake train, 
Then it was surely with the intention of stealing Afraid. the real one. Afraid. Ah, Watson, you should not jump to conclusions. In fact, this does not tell us very much at all, except that the train did not evaporate into thin air. Although you half suspected it. Ah, at any rate, we now need to find where the real train might be hidden. I suggest we use my archives to find a more detailed map of our Thank surroundings. Thank goodness I brought my archives well, I with me. I hope that justifies our having to load your massive archive suitcase onto the cab. It made us extremely unpopular with our driver. He was so cross with us. Holmes. Bl brain blast. Oh. I can do smart things. Fake train, special wagon. Okay, or not. Wait. No, you chose the right thing. Oh. But it's like I said fake train, special wagon, and you didn't touch what I said. Special wagon. That one. Yeah, jerk. Sorry. There's nothing to connect it to. Just go. The train never reached Ivisham. It disappeared earlier. It was faked by somebody using a hand car and spare train parts from Chesterfield Station. Oh, jeez. Yes. Watson, can you give me some space, bud? Wait. Oh, no. no. That's not what I wanted. How do I go tab, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then you hit the uh, compass to leave places. Find out what the thing was carrying. Do I go? Uh. Read your objectives. They will show you the way. Yeah, I need to find out what the thing was carrying, and I need to check my archives. Yeah. Which I left in Evesham. Evesham. It was probably carrying that special stuff. This suitcase oh, contains my archives. We can consult like, with Like, you know, that guy's needed. like, a prototype, a cotton edge check with technology. Us. I'm Australian. Look how fancy we I am. Maps. We must combine them properly. Oh, jeez. Get mm. right there. Eh. Eh. Right there. Dowen. Dowen. Stop. Dowen. Here it is. There is a side branch to the railway. Its first switch is located between Bridlington and Chesterfield stations. There is one more station to be visited. It is located between Chesterfield no, and lie. Evesham, it's kind of ballsy and there should be like a, a side railway to the nearby quarry. There is a small section of a railway yeah. at the end of Evesham Station. An entire train. All right. Let's go. Let's go to the station. Hi. Dang it. I was trying to read my book. Uh. Hello? Holmes, how is it even possible for a train to disappear? Oh my god, shut up, Watson. <laughs> Jeez, use your brain for once, please. It's like people in the 1800s oh, no. couldn't fathom There's this a flooded shit. area over here. Hmm. I believe that the flooded area might be worth checking. No, actually. Look at me, I'm Sherlock Holmes. This railway branch should lead to the quarry. I can move it. The switch is rusted. What? What happened? Mm. No, you want it to go that way, and then you want to get on a thing and, and, and investigate. All right. Hold on, let me check the rest of the station first. God, his walk cycle is like, it's just, it's so... If you press shift, you can run. Are you not running? No, I am. You suck at running. <laughs> that guy that looks Chilean. Back. A funny character. He looks anxious. And he is not an Englishman. You gotta tell him to get out of here. Cigarettes. Cigar stub. Let me smoke it. 
Hmm. Uh -huh. This scent is familiar to me. But in order to recognize it, oh, no. I must combine my associations it's a sombrero. into one it's picture. A, it's a hat. I just said it's sombrero. It's a sombrero. sombrero. See? There we go. There. And you just need to move stuff. There we go. Is this... Uh, hold on. No, I don't want that. How do I move this? And this? Okay. <laughs> Why does he think like this? I don't know. It's best not to ask questions. <laughs> freaking, freaking dude. How do I get that over there? No, to the right. This one needs to move. No, it can't move. That one's a fixed one. So you need to make sure that that one is where it needs to be. And then you adjust everything else according to that. Uh, yeah. Up. What is it? Hold on. Yeah, like that. But like it doesn't match up correctly. Okay, well that's... Oh my gosh. Eh. Eh. That's just... That's like the edge. Is it just... Okay, I need to figure out what can move. Is it just these two pieces? There's only here? three pieces that'll move. That's how it was for the other one. Mint leaves. Cigar smoke. Oh, I had it backwards, that's why. There you go. I, I fixed it. There we go, I did Good it. Good job. A greenish brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. That's gross. Ricardo. You already know the name of this man? Holmes, you amaze me. No, Watson, I refer to the cigar. It is a Ricardo Turrent, a Mexican cigar of an excellent quality. Quite an expensive one, too. Mine now. <laughs> That's my cigar. I'm smoking it now. <laughs> Give me this. I don't need to be out here. It's, either. it's too cold out there, Mr. Watson. Huh. Hold on. Let's go over here. Because I bet you there's something in the warehouse. Uh, Watson, would you like some tea? No. <laughs> no. Ask him. You see Good a Mexican you, man sir. walk around here? My name is Sherlock Holmes. And this is Dr. John Watson. We are investigating the case of the vanished train. Is that so? Well, good day, gentlemen. I am Mr. Duff, the station master of this station. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can, but there's not much that I can tell you about last night. As I was inebriated, <laughs> just like the other guy. Uh, Spider, I think we're going to stream for another... 30 to 45 minutes or so. Uh, until the end of this case, I think. I feel like we're kind of halfway through already. All right. Yeah. Because I'm just sprinting everywhere and going, going crazy. Hey. Melancholy, why are you sad? He's like, <laughs> Sherlock Holmes is going to be like, it looks like you've been crying like a little bitch. And no watch. What's wrong with you? And missing button. Oh, you don't work here. He's not married. His girlfriend <laughs> dumped him. <laughs> He's gonna be like, listen here, you lonely sack of shit. Did any passengers leave or board the train last Where'd night? Where'd the passengers go? No. I saw no one as usual. I reported the train's passage by telegraph. Just the same as all the other nights. Okay, what about the flooded area? It appears that you may be at risk of some flooding along the line here. You mean that the whole bloody lake is at our feet? 
Quite so. But it is strange, because according to my map, there should be a quarry here, and behind that, the lake. How should I know? I only arrived here a few months ago. <laughs> and where did you work before He's that? all like, I worked for the train well, station, not the quarry. Nothing. What the fuck would I know for about that? I asked for a quieter <laughs> place, so they transferred me here. Life is cheaper. I can't really complain. Except I'm lonely Goodbye, and sir. sad. It is obvious that we cannot inspect the <laughs> and quarry. Nobody loves me. Instead, we can check the beach area around the flooded lake. Tele telepathy chat. That's how he communicates with Watson. Yeah. That'd be good. Inspect the beach. All right. Hold on. Before Watson, quit getting stuck in the ground, bud. You're freaking me out. There's nothing else you can take. Uh, no, beach. I have to go to that guy that walked away in, in panic. Railway post bags. Yes. More. <laughs> Railway <laughs> Sherlock Holmes proceeds to steal everybody's mail. This post bag belongs to the station master. Steal the mail. Steal it. Mine. <laughs> Corwell Advocate Agency, Main Road, Bromley, London. In reply to your last warning letter, I wish to assure you that I shall soon honor all... Of the latest installments, you misspelled it. No, I'm just kidding. I think that's how they did it back then. That I need to pay according to my debts. To yours faithfully, Edward Duff. Yes, mine. That is the wife. Oh, so that's why he's been sad and crying. The station master debt. appears to have found himself in some financial trouble. Now let's go <laughs> confront him about it and be like, you poor bastard. <laughs> Seven Alpine Street, Bassford, Nottinghamshire. <laughs> My darling, I ask you, you trust me this time. I shall soon have more more than enough money to repay the house mortgage. It's only a matter of days. You may continue living in the house without me since that is your wish. Please since know you that I still <laughs> <laughs> I know what a nice way to put it. Please know that I still care about you and hope that you will forgive me one day, despite all the harm you've caused me in recent years. Way to guilt trip her at the end. Yours, Edward. P.S. You are a little bitch. <laughs> He's all like, oh my god. He's like, you can continue living in the house without me like you want to, but it's your fault that I'm in debt anyways. <laughs> You put me through this debt, and this is this is my house. But you can you can stay. It's it's fine. Wait, where'd he go? <gasps> the guy. The guy was not here anymore. Newspaper articles on horse racing, hurdles, steeplechase, and flat racing. He is a true enthusiast, Holmes. Enthusiast. Give me the invisible ink. No. All right. Oh, wait. There's the one item that I missed. Way to go. Gah. It's because you keep dicking around. You just got to solve the case. It's a betting, betting ticket. slips for horse racing. And that's why he's in debt, because he bets betting on the horses. Slips. Betting slips. Put it back. Wait. No, take it. Oh, rotate. The sums are quite impressive. Mm. It can be an expensive vice. This man had probably used all his savings. What a dummy. Chat. Telegraph. A telegraph. <laughs> yes, a telegraph. I've been going around to all the stations. I'm just, I'm just like, hey, look. A telegraph. All right, now let's go. Wait. Wait, you got a brain blast. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Use Activate Sherlock vision. What is it? Hello? Activate Sherlock vision. I did. This is Sherlock. No, you pressed T. I did press T. I don't believe you. It's gone now. This is what happens when I press T. Hmm. Did you see that? I don't know. Go talk to that guy and tell him we get it. You're poor and you're in debt because you have a gambling problem. Your wife doesn't like you, huh? <laughs> and your wife left you. <laughs> she doesn't want anything to do with you. You're a gambling man, huh? I observe that you are a gambling man, Mr. Duff. You had hoped that your relocation to this small town might have helped ease your addiction. But it was not to be. 
I beg your pardon. Addiction to what? Bitches. Uh, I saw the horse racing tickets. How dare We found you. a number of horse racing tickets inside your office. Well, well, we all have our weaknesses. Like An expensive like obsession, surely, butts. for a station master. It is none of your business. I occasionally attend the races with my colleagues. And anyway, that's my private life. Goodbye, sir. Yeah, I just wanted to talk to you about that and, uh, you know, make you feel even worse. Um. <laughs> Doncaster Station Master reported by Telegraph, the arrival, uh, okay. But it doesn't really... Uh, I don't... It's, it's just a new thing. I can't really match it with it. Oh. Damn. I guess a match... That's... I, didn't, I wouldn't like put two and two together, but whatever. The, tra the train passed through you Doncaster need to check the Station. Beach. I know, I will. The station master reported it. The, the train passed through the, the, the station because he said so. Or, the train never passed through Doncaster Station because he lied about it in a false report. Perhaps he was bribed with the money he desperately needed. <gasps> I would say that. Dun dun dun. Yes, well. I like that we assume he's a liar, as if, like, he would be forthcoming with any of the information that we found out about <laughs> him. As if he'd be like, yeah, I'm in debt. My wife doesn't love me anymore and left me. She lives in the house, but I still pay for it, even though she's the reason I'm in debt. <laughs> <laughs> like, if he'd been forthcoming, be like, he seems like an honest fellow, if not too forthcoming. To the beach, dear Watson. Sherlock Vision. Oh. Oh, E-R. Ah, ah, I see. This flag. Yes. Um. Hey, can you stop? That's dangerous. You shouldn't stand on the track like that. There has to be something down over there. They wanted me to press it over here. So let's see. Eh. No. Not that one. Eh. This one. Wow. A piece of burnt paper. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. Do I have you found that guy yet? Do I look yeah, him? No, examine. he's gone. A greenish brown cigar with a strong aroma. Oh, a read hint the thing. Peppermint. These ashes and cigar stubs are similar to the one that we found on the floor. Some oh. of the stubs were recently smoked. There are others that appear fairly old. I've been here for a while. I'm sorry. Can... What? Well concluded, my dear fellow. A man who smoked the Ricardo brand of Mexican cigar spent several long days at Doncaster <laughs> Station. <laughs> Watson's trying to talk to me and he's like, huh? What do you... I can't hear you. What's that paper say? Does Chilean... Apparently, there was a conflict between the Mexicans and the Chileans. Chilens. Now I must put this. I must reconstruct the paper with the ash. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. Yes, that is correct. Um, I don't think there's any el anything else you can do. Let us run around with my Sherlock vision for a sec. That that trips me out every time. I'm like, hey, huh? I do it. Just kidding. The, yeah, the guy that was like angry and upset, he just like walked, he fucked off, and then that was it. I didn't see him. Where he went? That way. Into the mist. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this game in first person is actually like kind of terrifying. Watch. Oh. No. Stay away. <laughs> see that? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, help me look your foot's not even on the ground sir um did you I, check the beach area um yeah, i couldn't do anything here so i was gonna go that way <sighs> stay away from me i don't like it i don't li oh god <laughs> follow that yeah i'm gonna go this way <gasps> the rail is rusted and looks old but 
the railway is still usable. Okay. The railway ends here. That is strange. Strange. Um, so they flooded quarry, old railway to the quarry. And then it, the train could have sunk in, in the flooded quarry. No, the train could, cannot be sunk in the flooded quarry because the old railway that leads there are missing some rails. Then, yeah, we would have. Wait. The train cannot be sunk. Yeah, there's no rails there. I, I reckon. Otherwise, we would see, like, giant train marks on the thing. Do you see a train, Watson? Can, can you talk? Hey. No, he doesn't help you. He just stands there. <laughs> Okay, hold on. I gotta check my notebook. Um, find out what the special wagon is carrying. Examine the side of the railway branch that begins at the switch. Examine the side. Uh, okay, I have to go to the back to Evesham. Inspect the beach area around the lake. I did. Or can I go this way? Inspect. Hold on. Let me get out of this area. Hey, hey, I'm looking for something. Dude, creepy. All right. Uh, so it wants me to go back to the beach, or is that because I have to go to beach? Okay, so I'm done here then, I'm, I'm assuming. I'll then go to the beach. All right. Um, Bye. Sorry, chat. There we go. I want to pick that one and go to... Should we go to the railway switch first? Go to the beach. beach. It's been telling you to go to the beach for the past 10 to 15 minutes. Sherlock is so smart and so dreamy. Uh, over here. <laughs> here we are at the beach that is located near the quarry and Doncaster Station. It doesn't look like a very good place to rest. Why you say that? Examine. These traces were made by a carriage. Look. Look at. Look at that. Take a, take a measurement. Wait. The vehicle pressed this stone into the ground. It would have been quite heavy. Yes, quite. It was this many. Eh. Nothing interesting. This one. Nothing interesting. Oh wait, you want me to do that? The distance between the tracks is about. Six feet, seven inches. And then... Examine. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. And it's so muddy, it's nasty. These traces are relatively fresh, and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. Got that? Write that down? Okay. Watson's not there to help you. Watson, <laughs> legit, Watson follows you around because he writes stories about it and publishes it. That's how he makes his money. I see. Yeah. Creeping. This place was abandoned fairly recently. Ooh, why? Who done it? Sherlock Vision. A shoe. Blood. This looks like a gypsy camp. An abandoned gypsy caravan. Ah. Ah, yes. Correct, you are. Can I go inside? No. Dang it. Blood. That's blood. Right? Blood. I mean, it's not important. It's not like anybody was murdered in this crime. <laughs> we don't care about murders in this place. Observing Train. the coastline and the moored boats... We are able to see that the lake's water level dropped. The lake has flooded the quarry. The dam was probably breached. Oh no. So whoever hijacked this train fucked up the quarry specifically for this. What? 
What's this? Hey, look at the train. No? I don't... Why does it say that, but I can't click? Oh, there we go. Take it. It's mine now. A label with the name Las Zarpas. Las Abbas. Mine. My new belt buckle. To I am Las Abbas. I am Sherlock Holmes no longer. Alright, I got the beach done. You hear that? I got the beach done. Um, so now I gotta go back to Ivesham. Examine the side railway branch that begins at the railway switch. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay, I have to go there too. That's a separate place. Alright, let's go back there. This guy is just so weird, I don't understand him. He's staring at me. Creeper. Uh, okay, Spider. We'll see you later. We'll stream again on uh, Wednesday. So we'll see you. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate you hanging out. Have a good one. Hmm. No, stop. Touch. The switch is rusted, but it still works. Okay, so it went that way then. What are you, what are you looking at? <laughs> no, that's not what I wanted. Alright, let me go back. Can I look at this thing? Mines. This is interesting. Ghost train. It would be quite possible for someone to redirect the train towards the mines. Now we have mines. All right. So now, some of the mines. First, let's go to. Let's go back to Evesham. This game loads so fast. We're here. We made it. What? Yes. I'm back. That map is mine. I took that map over there. Uh, we have to go back to... Hey. Um... Examine the side real right branch at Evesham. Where would that be, though? You gotta go to the mines. It wants me to check. What's the objective say? Side railway branch. This? This one? No. Hey. Um, yeah, because it, it told me to come back here to check the side railway branch. I just don't know what that means. I don't know. I don't work for a railway company. Squeak. Um, can I inspect anything? Oh, look. A telegraph. Uh, alright, let's see. Hey. The entire train has disappeared. It's, 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 it went to the mine. Hold on, I'll find it. Just, just hold on a second. What's I want you to do? Because there's like... Ah, uh, excuse me. Eh. Can I go in here? No. Yes. Yes. This is where I wanted me to go. Close it. I'll lock you out. So excited. Where are you? 
There was a building here not so long ago. Mm. But I don't understand, Holmes. Why would anyone destroy the shed in such a manner? Because it, it was disassembled in great haste. It is most odd. Because it felt like it. What? Oh, what do you have? Nothing. Anything in here? Activate Sherlock vision. Oh. Dang it. Hey, okay, so this. Yes. Yes. Traces. Let's take <laughs> it's like a this. Sit look. there and wait as it like highlights stuff for you. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Take a measurement. Yeah. The distance between the tracks is about six feet seven inches. And then it was a tiny pony. Tiny pony. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. Just like the beach chat. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. The traces found at the disassembled shed near Evesham oh, and at work. the lake were from the same vehicle. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Am I done here then? Gotta go to the mine now. No, I'm not done here yet. Hey, can I go inside? This road should lead to the town of Evesham. Evesham. Chum, 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 chum. Try talking to the conductor. Alright. Uh, be like, what's up with that shed? And he's gonna be like, what shed? I heard nothing about a shed. I heard nothing about a shed. Hey, excuse me. Hey, hey you. Hey, hey bud. Hey bud. What's that over there? It appears that there was a small warehouse near your station and that it was disassembled. Why is that? It was burgled overnight about two weeks burgled. ago. What, the, the police like the, have already started their the investigation. The burglars like stole the whole thing. <laughs> he stole the shed. Did he just up what and was took inside the, whole shed? the warehouse? Did he just burgled, well, nothing of value. Just a few something. hundred feet of standby oh, rails yeah. and some spare railway parts. But it wouldn't be easy to steal all yeah, of that. Why would anyone oh. want to? Why See you later, just take my it? good man. All right, there we go. I'll done with that place. Oh, 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 uh. Stop. <laughs> no. Now you go to the mine. Eh. I'm trying to make my escape. Eh. Alright, yeah, so we're done here. Mines. Find out what the special wagon was carrying. I don't have to wait. You might have to talk to the Australian guy. Where was that? Chesterfield. Hmm, yes, quite. And you can ask the Australian guy, like... No. That wasn't Chesterfield, it was the one before Chesterfield. It was, no, they're in here. Oh, dang it. Yeah, it was the one before Chesterfield. So I built that. Hold on, I just want to see if there's anything else that I may have missed. No. Alright. It's the one before Chesterfield. Don't cast it. No, it wasn't this one either. Crimes and punishment, that's what we're playing. Impossible. Dang it, it's this one. Bradlington. Yes. All right. So. So now. Hey, hey, bud. I will not nope. move from oh, okay. here until I receive my refund. It's a scandal, an Let's absolute go to the mines. outrage. Uh, <laughs> After the mines, then Watson. Yes. Here are the mines, Holmes. They appear to be abandoned. You don't say. What? No way. Look at horsey tracks. 
Um, this mine has completely collapsed, Holmes. It is curious. But to be truthful, I am not entirely surprised. It's difficult to follow you, Holmes. He wants me to look at something? There. Empty place. Traces on the ground. Missing rails. Uh, Someone removed blast. these screws, most probably to take down the rails. A few feet of the rails have been dismantled. Hmm. I hate how he says most probably. Most probably. It sounds dumb. I got a new thing. All right, so mine's collapsed. Rails to mine. Old no. railroad. That one. No. No. Special transport. Which one are you? Nope. None of these. Okay, hold on. Special transport. Special wagon. It's still in real track. Rail. Rail to mine's missing. No. Nope. Hold on. This one. It's no. This one and this one. No. This one. Alright, so it says real way to quarry and someone stole the somebody stole the rails to temporarily cover the missing section of the old railway to the flooded quarry. Oh jeez. So one of these is not correct. It missed. The train passed through the Chesterfield station despite it. Are being unsure if the station master sent the report, so it did go. And then could be sunk. The train could have been sunk in the flooded quarry. It's not sunk. That's what it wants us to think, though. There was a conflict. There you are. Collapsed mine, pile of stones, pile of stones, paper package. Oh, hello. Strange box. It's a kilo. Hmm. This is an unusual kind of paper, stiff paper. and dry. You think it it's was cocaine? used for a specific purpose. Let us look inside. Are you assuming this because they mentioned Chileans and Mexicans? <laughs> no. <laughs> It's just sawdust. Sawdust. I am almost certain it is a... Watson, could you assist, please? Do you have your pistol? Good. Fire at this package. Yes, let me hold this in my hands and you shoot at it. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Uh, nice. Oh, it's an explosion. Dynamite. All right, brain blast. Dynamite. So mines were collapsed because of stuff. That means mines were collapsed to hide the train, maybe. Sabotage. And then the train was moved inside. I mean, technically... Yeah, I think the train was moved inside and then it was concealed. No. So, Hold on. It can't be sunk. Yeah. Oh, it keeps, it keeps the railway to quarry. You just need more hints and stuff. All right. Doesn't necessarily mean you're wrong. It just means we haven't gotten. We just don't have enough. Okay. Yeah. Oh, climbing on things. Push. Hey, Watson, get inside. Push. You. Creepy. Look at that. Mm. Watson. <laughs> Staring at me in the distance. Silently. Judging. What's the next thing? Uh, it still wants me to explore. Oh, okay. Examine the mines. So I get to go inside. Hello? Knock, knock. Activate Sherlock vision. No, it's pretty, it, it's usually pretty good about telling me, but let's see. Anything? Anything? Ew, what's that noise? 
No, nothing there. Did you do that? <laughs> this is the cabin for the mine's security personnel. Mine guards. Hello. Gimme mine. I found this. This box must be the safe. Let's open it. With my weird mini game like twisty thing, yes. Alright, so rotate all. I want to I oh, know this one. No, this one. This one. Kind of. There we go. Good job. Thank you. Mine. The Mexican company Caracal and the Chilean Barcazas both want to buy the mines. I need more information. Perhaps Mycroft could help. Sure. We just need a telephone. New instructions to all where we call? We call? Security personnel. We inform you that the representatives are representatives of the Barcazas group who are granted free access from now on. This company is the future under the mines. Also starting from today, a no trespassing rule is upheld against any representative of the Caracal consortium. The preliminary contract of the sale has been cancelled. Do not provide any explanation. This information is confidential. Oh jeez. Eh. All right, use a telegraph to discover more about stuff. Find out what this... Oh, there's so many of those telegraphs, Strat. Uh, find out more about this, what the special wagon, wagon is carrying. Brain blast. Oh, jeez. This and... This, this, this one. That one. No, okay. See? Oh, jeez. Somebody stole the rails to temporarily cover the missing... Yeah, I thought we... Somebody stole the rails to temporarily cover the missing section. That one. Oh. Oh. One ball. Inside mines. The train is sealed underneath the collapsed mines, Chat. We must find a way in. This is so elaborate. Who would do this? <laughs> I don't know. Some el elaborate freaking ruse. Just to get whatever prototype from an Australian. Why, Watson? Alright, go send a telegraph. Alright, yeah, we're done here. Okay, bye. You're gonna have to go to the one that had the thing that told you how to telegraph. Oh, jeez. Where's that drunk guy at? Um, he's in Chesterfield. Chesterfield? Okay, come on, let's go. Hey, hey. A telegraph. <laughs> A telegraph. No, yeah. seriously, get contact, there you go. <laughs> some time later. I asked Mycroft to find out some information on the WEA Coal Company. Here is his reply, and it is an interesting one. There are two companies, the Chilean Barcazas and the Mexican Caracol. Both wanted to purchase the, the WEA coal mines. The Mexican Caracal Consortium has established an initial deal and had prepared all the papers. However, the Chilean Barcazas group, aided by their influential connections, managed to snatch the concluding deal for the mines. Ooh. Hey, Watson. Hey, look, it's... A telegraph. <laughs> get out. It's, it's, uh, so then what? I can't get out. What's your next objective? It's, um... I gotta f still figure out what's in the mine. And the, what the special wagon was carrying. Uh, I can't. This one and this one. The Mexicans held no grudge against the Chileans. Business is business, after all. Okay, and what else do I have? Special wagon. No. 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 
What am I missing, Joe? I can't get out. I'm kind of stuck in here. All right, let me see. Um. Okay. Find out what the special wagon was carrying. Where would that be? No, no. No. I gotta talk to the dude. I gotta figure out what's in there. Talk to which dude? The Australian. You tried that already. Yeah, but now I kinda know what's going on. I will not Dang move it. from here. Hey. Don't touch anything, please. Now activate A telegraph. Your... Oh, hello. I <laughs> uh, can't open the door in that mode. All right. It's somewhere in here. Oh, hello. Give me. Oh, geez. Imagine all the, the areas in this game that I missed. For Robinson's that. machine. A significant sum. I figured it out. Insurance policy organized by Thomas L. Robinson for his prototype called the Autonomous Electricity Generator. Uh, up to 50% of its value, maximum cover amount 15,000 pounds. Okay, now what? It still doesn't. Oh, now I have dialogue. I see. Okay. Search archives for that. I see. I see. Okay. I need to have a to have a dialogue with this guy, but I couldn't. Until you found the evidence. Can Don't you tell touch me about anything, a cigar? please. Oh. It's a scandal. Talk to the, the insurance whole train person. Just. Hey. Hey, but According to this document, you have insurance for your prototype. Oh, thank God. Where did you find it? Near the telegraph station. I must have lost it when I tried to send a message, which I was prevented from doing. I apologize for that, but regulations state that public access to the telegraph is strictly prohibited. Upon my word, you keep on digging that hole of yours. You have no idea who I am. No, actually we don't. Important grip sack. I see that you kept your grip sack with you. Why don't you leave it in the luggage room? I've had other things to think about. I lost my prototype. And this idiot station master just stands here doing nothing to help. Oh, but... Well, that won't do at all. Station master, I believe that the regulations state that any passenger luggage should be taken to the luggage room. Yes, I'll do it right so I away, can sir. touch it and put my Sorry, feet sir. hands inside of it. Mm. <laughs> this Robinson is quite a character. We should learn more about him. Is he saying it out loud right in front of him? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> if not, I'm going to make it seem that way. Give me. <laughs> Look. This grip sack belongs to... Mr. Robinson. He said that with more excitement and had an exclamation comes. point. This is what they Mr. call Robinson. Force majeure. <laughs> hey, I'll keep Mr. Watch. Robinson. Of course. <laughs> Let's hack it. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my god, I would hate to have to do so many of these in one stage. Rotate all. Let's do. Let's line those. And next one. Hold on. What do you mean there's two? No, there isn't. Nope. That one. That one. No, geez. Ah. I did it. Good job. 
Let me in. I want to see what it is. Look, Watson. A bundle of contracts. Exclusive. Very uh, suspicious. We should study them carefully. Yes. This is an exclusive sales contract. An exclusive sales contract. Regarding the prototype invention dedicated to the plans of playing da -da 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 Edison Electric Company. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yes. This is an exclusive sales contract. Yet another exclusive sales contract. He, so he's selling it to multiple people, and then he's getting insurance money for the lost item. Hong Kong General Electric Company. What the fuck? Shut up. Siri, get out. We don't, don't want to talk to you. Mr. Thomas Mr. L. Robinson. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Next page. Hey, look, another exclusive yes, sales another contract. Exclusive sales contract. Uh, here we go. Look, Barcasas, Barcas, Casas, Chilean company. Mr. Robinson is the seller. I think I think we got it. Hot chat. We got it. I think I think yes, he. another exclusive sales contract. I think we got it. Medison. Oh, there's Edison, General Electric Company. It's Mr. Medicine. Robinson is the seller. But it's supposed to be Edison. Well, it is very clear that this Mr. Robinson received prepayments from various people for his machine. Special Wagon had a prototype. And then the thing... He's Robinson not a is, victim. No, the loss of the machine is a disaster for Mr. Robinson. Even though he planned this fraud, he has lost far more than he could gain. The insurance will not cover the total cost of the prototype. Robinson is a victim. Oh no. The Chileans made the train vanish in order to steal the prototype. Yeah, I guess technically that's that's true. Look at more clues. Uh, prototype has insurance. Special wagon. Uh, there we go. Hold on. Hold on. I think he planned it. I think so too. Robinson's motive. The loss of the prototype will bring a lot of easy money to Mr. Robinson thanks to the insurance and multiple fraudulent exclusive contracts. Oh, but that didn't... Con Wait a minute. No, no, no. You don't change it just to make it work. Okay. That's not how this game works. So look at the I understand you can totally blame them for stealing the prototype. Oh, okay. But it doesn't necessarily mean that's the right answer. So if you go Real back, you just need to change because you have contradicting opinions oh, okay. of things. So, But I get to solve it. I mean, do it. You just got to review all your stuff. All right, hold on. Hold on, chat. Let's see. All right, so... It wasn't an accident. Right, that one. Robinson's motive. Uh, the loss of the prototype will bring lots of easy money. Yep, no grudge. I can't change that one. You see, you haven't. You never talked to the Mexican guy. I couldn't find him though, because he was just gone. Yeah, you're right. I need to find him. Because you have to talk to him to get the last piece of stuff. Oh, then I have to still search this. I keep forgetting about this. First electric railway opens. My search should be focused upon the name Las Zarpas. Oh, then go. Go. Um, nope. 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 Uh, nope. nope. Okay, hold on. Nope. Nope. That one. Naval defense. Uh, no. 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 Get no. Him. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Uh, let's see. Wait. Which one would it be? Explosion in the cockpit. 
Or you can, yeah, you can look at something else. No. Oh, have... yeah, here, I want to see, because it's a piece of a train thing, right? So. Go, next. Rural economics? My search should be focused. No, hold on, technology. There we go, Las Zapas. There we go. The Las Zarpas barges are leaders in heavy good transportation. The Las Zarpas label belongs to the Mexican consortium Car Caracal, who cover shipping, electricity services, and mining. Here it is. There we are. Cool. And then I gotta talk about... Brain Blast. Special transport. The Mexicans had recently utilized barges at the lake, probably to transport something very heavy. Oh, geez. Can't be sunk. It can't be sunk because they use the barges. Yeah. And then. Man. This is tough. I think it, it yeah, it's, well, shoot. Because I can blame either one then, right? Oh, you can blame point. anybody. Shoot, hold on. I have another piece of dialogue I think I have to discuss with that guy. Let's go back, where was that again? It's the one closest to the beach. So it's the Doncaster one. Okay. Continue. It's okay, so let me just make sure I don't miss any dudes. Cause this guy, I walked in here and this guy was like, oh, oh geez. And then he walked away. Check the front. The front of the station entirely, or what? Yeah. No, it's the front. That's like the back. No, this is the... Thing at the back. This way. So there's, there's the conductor. And then the guy... Is just gone. No, he's somewhere around there. Excuse me. Hmm. The heck? So he went in this street. He's hiding behind the door. I can't get him. Trying to see if maybe my Sherlock vision will want to enable, but I don't see that either. Uh, let's go to left luggage. Hello? No. Bud? You in here? He's making tea. Hey, what? This guy. There we go. There was a gentleman Jeez. of Mexican origin, I believe, in the waiting room. Did you notice him? What? A Mexican? Here in the back of beyond? Are you quite sure about that? Goodbye, sir. Watson, it seems that both South American companies were involved in the purchase of the mine. The man at Doncaster who fled our approach, he smokes Mexican cigars. Perhaps... Yes, Watson. We should certainly speak with him. Talk to the... But where? We are at Doncaster. Yeah, just search around. Uh... Might have triggered something now that you had the dialogue. Probably. Check the front of that. 
Hold on, we go do a circle. Hey, can I, can I, come on, no, okay. Hello, where are you? I'm gonna find you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just had to have the dialogue. He's, he's back all of a sudden, chat. I don't know what the- Please, sir, we would ask you not to leave. We have some questions. Are you the police? No, we are employed by the railway company. We are collecting witness statements about the train that disappeared last night. Lo siento, I'm in a hurry. Hurry up, really? he says. It seemed that you were waiting here for someone. Could you tell us if you were at the station last night? No, I just arrived from South America. A formidable journey, no doubt. Which country are you from? De Chile. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, let me see if you're married. <laughs> For some reason, that's a thing in this game. Rinkos, he's old. Mustache. Bow tie, he's fancy. Strong build, he's a buff, buff boy. He punches things. You can tell by his knuckles. Look at the cigar. No, no, that. Oh. Oh. His index finger, it's an expensive cigar. I thought you were Mexican. <laughs> Chile. But you are Mexican. No, you are wrong. Why would you think I'm Mexican? Because there's a whole bunch of different. Uh, the cigars. Because of your cigars. See, si, cigarillos. So what? Those cigars are the Ricardo brand, from Mexico. It is quite impossible to find them anywhere but there. But not your business. But it's not your business. Then what is yours? I it's don't her. suppose that you are on vacation. What business brought you here? I was to meet my fellow compañeros. Where did you arrive yesterday? They were on that dumb train. I will stay here and hope that the authorities find them. Or their bodies. It's now my responsibility to repatriate them. Who authorized you to do that? The company I work for. Could you tell me the name of the company? No. It's not your concern. And what is your name? Enough questions. When I start this. Good day. Oh, okay. Not a very friendly man, e. and he is lying. He said that he just arrived, but we know that he has been here for several days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. The last thing. Uh, the Mexican Caracal Company held the grudge against the Chilean Barracazas group as the Chileans Chileans were favored for purchasing the WEA coal mines despite the Mexicans' preliminary sales contract. They're angry. Click that. Do you, is that, do you think this is right, though? I mean, it's up to you. Just click that and we'll see. Alright, hold on. I don't think it Mexicans was. Mexicans organized the Chileans stay on the train. That's why the controller removed all the passengers except for them. Eh. Whoa, that's. I mean, it could be possible. Let's see. The Chileans stay on the train. Personally, just... I don't think yeah. the Australian guy is smart enough to do half the shit that was required to pull this off. Yeah, I don't think so either. And like we can't find the Chileans, like, and he has nothing to do with Mexicans or the Chileans. Yeah. Like he's committing fraud, no doubt, but I don't. I think that's separate from what's going on here. Do you think this was an accident? The Chileans stay on the train. It's just a coincidence. The train conductor overlooked them. I don't think so. I don't think it was an accident because why would it be an accident if the Mexicans set up a trap? Yeah, true. Uh, the Mexicans have no prejudice against the Chileans. <laughs> yeah, right. So that doesn't fit in anymore, though. The train passed through Chesterfield Station despite being unsure the station master sent the report. Ah, oh, jeez. Chesterfield was which one again? Uh... I missed it because it went to it passed it right? yeah it passed it and went to the mines dang it B 
Okay. Past it. Oh, well then, you gotta fix some of your choices. Yeah. Uh, so, somebody stole the rail to temporarily cover the missing section. Oh, you know. Sabotage. Barges. Mexicans had recently utilized barges. Because I'm thinking that the Mexicans took the train, right? So They used the barges? Yeah, I think so. These two are conflicting now, though. Yeah, the railroad right to the quarry. And it could be sunk, but they still used the barges. Yes, there we go. Oh, no, that's not right either. Okay. Mexicans drown the Chileans. Oh my god. Damn. Oh. Um, I prefer the Mexicans. Um, in the quarry. So <laughs> I think what was supposed to happen was that yes, that was supposed to be a thing. But this doesn't make sense. It passed Chesterfield. Yeah, exactly. It could not be sunk because it didn't pass that way. But see, these conflict again. The mines were collapsed to hide the train. Uh, I think that was sabotage. Because it was what again? Sawdust in the thing? Yeah. So there's TNT planted there. Yeah. Did the train pass through Doncaster Station? Yeah, I would have passed it. No, that doesn't work either. You gotta look at the map. Dang it. So. So it's supposed to go. Oh, wait. Was it passing? It was coming down this yeah, way. Yeah, it was coming down. So it passed Chesterfield and it passed Doncaster. Now, if it's heading this way to London, it never arrived. Or is it supposed to go up this way? No, because the Chesterfield one was the one that said, like... Well, maybe. Maybe it was going up because that one... So it passed Doncaster and it passed Chesterfield. And then it hit the railway switch and went to the mines. It didn't hit... Yeah, so it 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 was coming. It was going towards London because, uh, based on the orientation of the train station, it it appeared to disappear there. So we, it we was. Were there. So they were leaving from London, is what you're saying. Because uh, like, look, the train's facing the opposite way, like facing that way, going up. You see. Oh. Uh, so London up. It passed on Kester, it passed Chesterfield, it passed both those, and then they went to the railway switch. Right. It never, it never got to Brillington. Huh. And they told everybody to get off at Chesterfield. Oh, uh, yeah, true. And the Chileans stayed on the train so they can hide the train in the mines then. Yeah, so change it to, it passed everything. Yeah, it, it, it isn't allow me to do that. It's not sunk. They're not sunk. Right. It's human. And then, okay, change it to didn't pass Doncaster. Yeah, see. The railway to the quarry. No, it went into the mines. See, I, th I think what's messing with this is the orientation of the map. So it's like... Yes, the barges were a thing. Okay. It's not sunk. It, yeah, it would not be sunk. Concealment. I think it's sabotage. Sabotage. 
I think they missed Doncaster. Because everything's blue down there. You just need to fix the two red. Yeah, so then... It would be missed Chesterfield. Okay, there we go. It doesn't want to connect. I know, but they all don't need to connect. It's just the one that you think is the true one. Uh, I see. The Chileans were left. It was... Uh. <laughs> well, that's it then. <laughs> well, no, it's we had it and then kept clicking away. But this is what we wanted, right? I know, but like, you're not able to choose and accuse the Mexicans now. Yeah, I know. But this is what we like decided. No, it's we had it right the first time and then we went clicking everything. Okay. So let's start from the beginning then. It vanished. It missed. And it, it passed it. No, sorry. It missed it. And then it went up. Concealment. And then. There we go. There you go. Yeah, it cannot be sunk. The barges are a thing, yes, but. I don't think they I don't think the Mexicans had any intent of taking what was on there. I think they just wanted to kill the Chileans. Road into the mines. And then it missed Chesterfield. Yeah. This one doesn't even connect. Murder. Hmm. Um, I'd do Mycroft. Give Mycroft a chance to resolve the conflict. Because Mycroft works for the government. Uh, okay. Criminal organizations such as this cannot be confronted directly. It requires a delicate approach. Give Minecraft the chance to resolve the conflict, even though it might be protracted and turn it into his own advantage. All right. I just want to be done with this. I don't that care about trains anymore. But... Sure. And the case is solved, Holmes. What do you intend to do? Well, I shall require assistance for the arrests. There were accomplices. Ah, but I know that look. You have your own ideas. What are they, Holmes? On the one hand, we have the local constabulary and advice from our friend Lestrade. The problem we have there is that the authorities seem to be incapable of acting quietly. They rely on brute force. It could result in an international scandal. Our other option is Brother Mycroft and his tedious political games. He will locate the guilty parties without any trouble but it will be a long and drawn-out process, and possibly with some compromise that will be to Mycroft's benefit. But I think I'd prefer to give Mycroft a chance. We should overlook our personal differences on this occasion. Let us go home, then. I'd like to begin writing a draft of this story. No, I did not say that we had finished here yet. Well, all right. What did I miss? Mm, everything. Watson. We know that the Barcazas Company directors were trapped under the collapsed mines, along with the train and Robinson's prototype. But we still need to corner the guilty party. But how do you intend to prove... Oh no. Please don't tell me we have to dig out the mines. Huh. You may rest assured that I have a far better idea. We have only to use our corrupt Doncaster Station Master as bait. He will unwittingly trap our Mexican friend. Of course, you already had a plan. I shall follow you, Holmes. Well, the case is solved, and we shall be heading home. May we have two tickets to London, please? Right away? Wait, wait a minute. You've solved the case? In a manner of speaking, can you believe that the rescue service miraculously saved one of the Chileans who were on board the train? 
the police have ordered his immediate escort to London on the next train. He, he pulled through, then? He's alive? Yes, by extreme good fortune. His <laughs> condition is quite serious, and the method of transportation has its risk, but he will be held securely by the doctor and police officers. The gentleman carries some vital information on this case. I am sure of it. Ah, really? Your station will be famous, Mr. Duff. The journalists will be here before you know it. Goodbye, sir. Go goodbye, gentlemen. <laughs> Something time later. I like that this is the SpongeBob equivalent of like... Two hours later. Creeping. Gentlemen, you are under arrest. Caramba! You traitor! You double-crossed me! Oh, shoot. Yeah, get ready to save a life. Okay. Are you kidding me? Yeah. You want to redo this ending? Yeah. <laughs> I, like, clicked and he's like, yes, watch him die. How dreadful. Oh. Two dead bodies. What a terrible ending to such a great case. There, there, my dear fellow. It is all right. You did your best. It just wasn't good enough. Replay ending. Uh. Continue. Press B. Alright, now this over again. There we go. Alright, so that one was that one. Then the case is solved, Holmes. What do you intend? Well, uh, click, 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 click. We saw this already, yes. No. And then we gotta shoot the guy's hand. Yeah. Well, the case. Yeah, don't don't fuck this up. <laughs> pow pow pow. <laughs> Freaking Sherlock. Gentlemen, you are under arrest. Caramba! You traitor! You double-crossed me! Get his hand. Yeah. After it loads. I no, I said you're under arrest. Stop. Both of you. Good now shot, Now your wife Watson. is never going to watch I you I always back. knew you were a talented <laughs> marksman. I didn't want another life lost in this case, Holmes. Oh my god! I thought I was a dead man. You shouldn't be so glad about it. You'll be up before the judge. Your testimony will be of great importance to the investigation. I would remind you that your cooperation will be the best way to ease your sentence. By the way, Watson, would you be so kind as to give me some shooting lessons later on? Yes, but not in our sitting room, and not with you wearing a blindfold. Fine, jeez. <laughs> Fine, if you insist. Okay, accept decision. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh, only 22% other people blame the Mexicans. What's, What's that mean? Com commercity? Com Commiserative. What's but... that mean? So... That means... Okay. Is it, it doesn't give me the definition once I, like, dive into it. That's cool. 
to express or feel sympathy or pity to sympathize that's why it's a heart oh it's heart a case of statistics. gold interesting cool so let's uh end it here barbs before yeah. you hit continue no oh geez no oh no well no. chat chat there yeah don't hit continue all right well that's it for tonight <laughs>